I don't believe we fucked around. But hey, I've only myself to blame. Like, I went off script. Um, with an achievement like this, you've really got to follow, like, a very tight guide. Um, and I, I was actually lacking information. Um, so when, um, Haseo dropped that knowledge bomb on me, like, um, uh, not last stream, but the stream before, like, I was like, oh, I am Dumkov. I am stupid baby. Bad, bad, bad. You didn't hear that. Oh, ne oh, imagine that. I reckon someone's tried to do that. Because they're both of the period, really. Like, I can imagine someone trying to mix Final Fantasy 7 with the Final Fantasy 8 world. That would be chaos. I'm Asian. Can't words. Can math by nature. Wow. Can you read barcodes? Okay, that that's gonna get me cancelled. Okay, we'll, we'll stop with that right now. We'll stop with that shit right now. Okay. We should be outside of uh, calm. Wow, well, just wow. We are going to load these people up with uh, steel. Okay, so steel. Steel. Mm, mm, steel. And then steal for you. And then, and then, oh, nice. The thing is, she doesn't need the four slots. Commit Sudoku with the monster. Hmm. Do not Subaru in my chat. No trauma dump. No tra <laughs> Please, please, you'll scare off the donos. You'll scare. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, bomb. Yeah. Um, I'll be stealing lots of ethers. I will Subaru, please. Okay, okay, okay. I, d I didn't mean to, um, you know, uh, unethically block your, uh, your right to Subaru anywhere you want. So yeah, I'll, I'll be, um, getting into fights, but stealing. Um, so specifically, these are the weakest monsters to steal from. Um, and they've got ether. Um, so once I steal three ether, exit, didn't do that. So the reason why I'm doing that is because, um, in calm, I bought a lot of material just then. And the guides, the, the guide basically assumes like you, you're keeping like a tally. And like at one point it's just going to say, okay, at this point you're going to buy a lot of shit. And I'm going to be like, oh, I spent all my money on material. So... Check this out. Right, come on. Steal? No, no. Wouldn't steal nothing. It shouldn't be too painful. There we go. Tifa can hopefully beat up on the first one now. I'll spend all my money making people do things for charity. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. So, you know, if, if it's for a good cause, it's for a good cause. Has that already, um, finished up, by the way? Um, I'm not sure, because, like, um, I'm on, like, a little bit of... I think there's, like, one more day of it. Yeah, that's what I thought. And all this to master the RA. Yep. Yep. Th this is just the, the one Chivo. But I should be able to, like, um, I reckon by the end of today... Disc one is finished. Bold claim, but I think disc one is finished. So, a little bit of pain doing this, uh, like, ether stealing grinding, but running to the end of the month. Um, that's probably smart to do that, to be honest. Because also, um... Is there like a... No, I'm not sure if there's a public holiday in the United States, but... Yeah, it, ju it would just make sense to have like an extra couple of days. Actually, when... How many days are in um, May? Okay, yeah, 31. Yeah, it's only like an extra two. No worries. Come on. Rim really, like, 
honing in on what's the face? Tifa. Tifa. Holiday stateside. Ah, oh, okay. Cool, cool. Come on. Steal the ether. It's pro it's probably easier to steal from this thing because it hits um it doesn't hit as hard. Okay, you did it? No. no. Oh, there we go, that's my kid loop. Boom. So out of that I got three. Ah, uh, uh, wait, no. Yeah, there we go, three. And... So once I cross into this bit here, the enemies that have the ether are the ostrich enemies. And they can actually hurt, like, especially in, like, a crowd of three. Oh, okay. I don't want to fight these things, because they can steal shit. Fuck. Oh, okay. We don't want that to happen. Bolt. Fire. Gear, is there anything that keeps this run alive? Uh, I mean, the, the guide that I'm that I'm working off, it, it specifically says no materia, and it's like really like go go go, very specific, and it's like oh okay, but I mean if you have access to materia, like it just makes sense to you know. You know, you know. And while I'm here, let's steal the uh, ether from this thing. Come on now. You're just a lone wolf. Give me your ether. There we go. Thank you very much. That's fucking dangerous though, because like, I forgot that um, one of the patterns like when you're near calm, is running into those um, thieves and they are they're able to steal shit from you which is suboptimal I'm gonna load and go to sleep almost 3am no worries I might be here when you come back like if you're a normal adult normal adult male you should probably only need like six seven hours of sleep will I be up by then yeah I, I should probably be up near 12 yeah so I might see you later, Hisao. At least there's a guide. Most RA achievers... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Definitely for AI. You get about three or four. That's not healthy, dude. That's like, um, one RA... One REM cycle. You're meant to get two. For big sleep. So... You should... You should investigate why you're only able to get three to four hours. That's what people say. It's like, you know, guys, I'm, I'm fine with looking, like three hours. And then like, you know, they got raccoon eyes. It's like black. It's like, nah, nah, you're, you're not fine with three to four hours. You can live. You are able to live and exist, but you're not, a, you're not optimal. That's just my observation. There are only very rare people that are able to get away with like, you know, four hours of sleep or less regularly and like not be physiologically affected. They do exist, but, you know, the chances of you being one of them, I say, uh, mm, I'm pressing F for doubt. Or is it X for doubt? Forget my LA Noir memes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Ah, uh, but while we're here. Steal. 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 I've been done for nearly 35 years. Mm. Mm. I wonder now that you've started your um your new job, like suddenly, like that amount of sleep will not be enough. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I need 25 hours sleep in two days, and then I can go with three, four, four. Oh, okay. 
I, I I've known people that do that. Like um, they'll recover on the weekend, but like they'll get by with like like very little during the week. I can't do that. It has to be. <laughs> has to be consistent. It has to be consistent. Anyway, he'll say good night. Have a good sleep. See, these things get you with the bird kick. Yeah, we need to put the um the cover material off of Aerith as well. Because she ain't covering nothing. Chicken with the hands. I hate to spin on one, yeah, that'll be fucked, but some people do live that life. Some people do, do. Some people don't think it bees like it is, but it do. There we go. Nice. Come on. There we go. Then we talk to this fucking thing. Um. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Wow. No way. Then we get the magical dance. The dance that um made any seed very disturbed. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> anyway, give me my chocolate. Summoning material. Does he chuck it at me, or do I just receive it? Yeah, I just receive it. Nice. Do you have something better than a leather glove? No. I mean, if I bought something in Palm, but yeah. I'll contract this fucking thing to TTF. TFF. I will call all Chocobos Tiff from now on. TFF. I'm missing the joke. I'm dumb. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back this way. Okay, now to back here, we get the calm. Yeah, that's it. That's him, That's it. That's it, man. Ah. Uh, he. Does it require? knowledge of American culture, because if it does, those sorts of jokes are easily over in my head, because I am Australian. I know that Hungry Jacks is called Burger King over in the US, but, uh, my knowledge of uh, US stuff is severely limited. Oh, got him. Ah, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like uh, like, are you doing when you say this fucking thing? Do you mean like uh, COVID? <laughs> um, we call all Chocobos Tiff. This fucking thing. Hmm. Tifa and Tiff. Should 
Streamer strokes his shoulders and continues to steal Reaper. something I said five seconds before I said it. I mean, after I said it. That was the unfortunate mistake. Mind like a sieve. Mind like a sieve do I have. Especially when I'm concentrating on, on, on like, stealing. When my mind be on thievery, all I can think about is snatching. Snatch and carry. When is this bitch going to give me my ether? Disgusting. Give me. Give me. It's not. There we go. I took infinity turns to get it. The right one. Why not? Braver you. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Be bubble. Okay, how much? How much you got now? Nine. Okay. Um. Let's aim for twenty and then sell them all. That should bring us like. Close to the amount of money that we, like, theoretically should have. Excuse me. This isn't too painful. We also want to have like a, a little bit of um, money to give the um the Fort Condor people to fight their own battles, because I can't be fucked going back there unless the guide calls for it. Like I, I just I don't want to go back for it, you know. to get. There we go. Get him clown. There we go. Thank you. We gotta go. Bye bye. I was shocked when those two thieves came and stole the the atomic scissors, which I was gonna give to Barrett. It's like holy shit, son of a bitch. 
which I in turn stole from another enemy, but that's besides the point. Let's put these two in and give them better equipment. There we go. Mithril, no. Okay, that's good. Apparently has to be these girls, so... Yep. And we should be something like 15. Yep. I just might, might as well do that. I think I'm, I'm meant to have like my grenades up on top, but... Yeah, get on top. Nope, 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 nope. Get your foot stick. So we should have 16, yeah, 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 yeah. we should have two lots of, um, two wool, uh, three packs of wolves. Okay, let's kill this thing straight away. Fuck you, Prowler. Two ethers, so we just need two more, obviously. We should do it. Let me steal your shit. I can't believe the Boston Celtics forced a game seven. I'm very, I'm not salty about it. I'm just like, I really wanted to see the Heat in the finals against the um, the Denver Nuggets. I really don't think Denver's gonna lose. Like they're, they're just too stacked. But I was very surprised that. Um, they squeaked out game six. to um obviously run away from these things and okay, I'm gonna go to here to rest at the inn and then what I might do because we have to do it at some stage anyway um, I'm gonna fight a formation of um, two beach plugs. Oh wait, 
No, I can't. I need the manip uh, material before I can do anything. Fair enough. I don't have enough. Shit. <laughs> Oh well. Then f fuck your farm. Fuck your shitty ass farm. I'm done. Alright, we'll go right here before we're saving. Okay, we're gonna get um, nailed by the mid -Gazolan. Unless we're not. Oh shit. Fuck you, Migazolan. Get fucked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, we could do it too. Maybe not at this stage, actually, but. to get the um the enemy skill here but it is not worth it I don't want to you know I'm not playing Final Fantasy 7 I'm I'm trying to get a particular dumb achievement I don't even, I don't feel like I'm playing and having fun I'm micromanaging Hey, Jimster, what's up? Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's it's stream twenty five of Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, like the only reason why I'm doing this is um so I can get the um the one achievement left on retro achievements, so I can finally badge this set. Uh, just don't go all work and fun around and stay away from hatches. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm doing well. Hope that you're doing well. Um, I noticed that you were doing um, some modded Skyrim. It's a good choice. I love that game. Feel been at me playing some FF7, but maybe the remake. Yeah, like honestly, like at this stage, even if like you feel like strongly like the original is best, even if you feel like that, it's probably better to play the remake. Honestly, in terms of like drawing people to the stream. Because it's something new. It's something new. Not something that everyone's seen before, you know? Okay, right now we're trying to steal something for Tifa. But this guy's being very naughty and not giving me my thingy. Yeah, yeah. With this one, I made like a... Um, a a pact, a promise to, uh, you know, play it on stream. We'll skip the filler moments. There's lots of filler. There's a lot of filler. Why hasn't Aerith got her... Hmm. When is the second um, episode? Because, um, like, I know it's going to be like a three-parter. 
like everyone was like groaning when they heard that but now now at this stage now that it's out like we've kind of accepted it like the first one came out and then there's like i believe retrograde is dlc but that's not the second episode yeah i mean like when you think about it like when it comes to the remake like episode one was was just midgar and i thought oh, really so with with that said, imagine what's going to happen in the second episode. Like they'll go to the forbidden, uh, the forgotten capital, my favorite place in the game. There'll be a lot of locations that are that are covered again. And regardless of what I think of the remakes, that would be interesting to look at for sure. Yeah, and like. I would shout you out immediately, Gemster, but it seems like my bot is like it's acting very weird. So let's see if it, it's it's currently up and awake. See that that bit pops up, but it doesn't pop up with like your information anymore. It's so weird. So I'll do like the um, I'll do the Twitch way. Oh, there we go. They were last streaming, and it doesn't populate the um. Yeah, it's just it's so weird. Yeah. And whereas if you do it um using the um the Twitch way, it's very interesting. Like it, it gives like, you know, uh 15 or 20 seconds for someone to to follow. Um reasons to follow Gemster. Um nice community, nice person, uh very chill. Um um, there's, there doesn't seem to be any conflicts in your community. I will say that. Um, and you, you concentrate mainly on, um, FPS games. So, girl gamer, um, yeah. Very artistic as well, I might say. Very artistic. Hmm. I always feel like... I feel like when when I shout out someone, it's it's always hard to kind of express to people like like I don't want to like force people. That's definitely not my intention. But at the same time, it is it is kind of like I hope that I sing the praises of the person I'm shouting out well enough. You know what I mean? But when like I'm shouting out a person that I've personally known for a very long time and maybe like a person in the chat like doesn't know them from, you know, like has never heard it or seen them before it's it's a tough sell so i think like whenever someone gets shout out i think it's always instead of like automatically following just like click on the username and have a, have a check of the channel i rated you or you rated me hmm i can't recall it's been such a long time though hasn't it it's been maybe three years, three or so years. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it was like super random. I should, I should start doing super random raids again. It's just that sometimes it hasn't worked out very well. It's actually worked out very, very awkward. <laughs> like I've landed in some problematic channels. Um, but that, that that's on me. Like I I I should always vet. Like I shouldn't just like look on Twitch and then go, ah, oh, you. Because sometimes sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, GW two. Uh, yes, Daco streams. He um, like he's still a VIP, but I don't think he's been on Twitch for over a year. Yeah. It's been a long day. So we've seen the deck of streams. Grand Glove, see you later. There we go. Nice. Glad we stayed in touch. Yep. It helps when we're in each other's Discord as well. <laughs> it makes it a bit difficult to um to fall out of touch, I think. Like it's good that we keep tabs on each other. Oh. Because it is very easy to fall out of touch with people. Like, um, I knew this, um, this other guy, um, who maybe, like, it was a couple months after, like, the core, 
the core people that follow me, I was like Sharon Dasky, yourself, Frenomagus, and Dako Streams. Like, and, and Mr. Magoo. I remember like those are like the core people that followed me. Um, but then there was another one that popped my radar. His name was, uh, My Name is Porto. And he's just recently come back, but like he had a, a period where he left during like he, he didn't want to get stuck in um, pandemic uh, Melbourne anymore and so he, he fled to like the uh, the UK for a bit uh, a year maybe a little bit more and then he's just started to come back and just started streaming again but like I've, I've like there's like over a year's worth of catching up to do with that dude so steps to fallout do nothing for a week yeah, that's true. Or like when like you suddenly decide, no, I'm not going to be online for the next two weeks. I'm going to purge myself of social media. And people are like, oh, did you die? And you're like, I'm not that old. Mm. Yeah, I, and I think that that's natural and healthy. Definitely. Because um, I, I very much like it when new people come. Um, or like if you get like a group of people that are like in your stream always but then aren't for a bit at first like like when that happens at first you're like oh don't they like me anymore but it's like no 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 like like, like get yourself out of that mind frame it's like it's very healthy for people to kind of branch out and like um you know explore different things and it might be that the game that you're playing is something that they really do not like to watch like they like you they just don't like watching, you know. Like for example, when I was doing um, Doom Three, I got a whole different crowd of, crowd of people. They're like, yeah, 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 horror game stuff, yeah, 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 and like they were hardcore about being here at every single stream. But then when I stopped doing that, when I started going back to JRPGs, I didn't see them. And that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Just so long as they like, you know, they're still following, like they know I exist, then that's okay for me. Like, I'll, I'll see them down the line. You know what I mean? Time to give Tifa an upgrade. There we go. There we go. There's a good girl. Been nice doing Skyrim. Yep. A lot of random people coming in. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Like, some people can be very community-centric, and then other people can be very, like, they very much want to see new people playing a particular type of game that they love. Um, so like, especially with retro, like, um, when I was playing, um, Fantasy Star 4, there was a guy, um, that came through JLive, who, like, is heavily involved in the speedrunning of that scene. Um, and then you've got, like, um, when I was playing Turtles on the NES, Skunky48, who is the world record, um, speedrunner. Um, like, we raided each other, like, once, once or twice. That was pretty cool. Um. And he still occasionally pops in. So, you know, that's also pretty cool. Yeah. So it's, it's very important to, um, to like, not expect the same crowd of people. And to, to not get too, like, angsty, like, if they don't come um, back. So long as they, they don't, like, if they, if they, if they unfollow you and they leave your Discord and, like, you, they freeze you out if you message them, then, then that's a, bit, a little bit weird. But like, so long as I don't do that, I, I, I truly think that people will eventually return back. Like, people are just following their own interests, you know? Once you're done with that one game, you never hear from them again. Yeah, yeah. At least some of them are not like, I've played this game for years, I'm a god, now you do. Like, for, for um, I noticed that with a lot of people, um, like, they're very strict. They'll be like, you know, blind playthrough no no commentary like don't give me hints no backseating blah, blah, blah. but i'm like yeah cool like this is the first time i'm playing it and like okay if you're a god then okay like i'm not going to play it exactly to your specifications but hopefully you can derive some pleasure watching a noob do it and maybe yeah i might ask for some hints during you know because i i actually i probably prefer doing a game faster than slower but there are some people that are like, okay, this is going to be my challenge game. I'm going to do this completely blind and like nothing else, no matter what. And I don't care if it takes me five years. Like, I'm not like that. 
I'm like, guys, I'm stuck. Please help me. I'm a noob. You know? Mm hmm. I could write a book, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's get cracking. Let's get crack. Oh, did I pick up the. Uh, I think I did. No, I didn't. Oopsie. And the guide says to give all the sources to Cloud. So I will. Yep. Uh, is there something up there? Maybe, maybe not. Wow. Earth got bashed there. Nope, nothing here. Okay, this is where we meet up with the Turks. Cool. Rude is not very good at making speeches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody, 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 blah. Yeah, Judon. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Sing. She's saying, he's saying like, oh, hi, Aerith. Like, even after you like King hit her, just a big slap. Elixir. No. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. 68. Ooh. It's gonna be rough. Almost time for me to have my dinner. I think... Yeah, the um, the guide doesn't say anything about going to Fort Condo. But I'll, I'll do it anyway. Because um, the first reward for Fort Condo is... Um, getting a peace ring. Which is quite a, a nice little... Um, where is Junon? <laughs> Help you. <laughs> I didn't mean to do the, the top option first. It's like blah blah blah, we need help blah, blah, blah. and then my first response, where is Junon? I do not care. Let's speak to the old man. Your eyes are different. I guess so. Yeah, the big chicken on top of the uh nuclear reactor, yep, yep, yep. Big chimkin. Alright. And then we can go downstairs and get a free rest. Yep, let's rest in the same bed, girls. Nice. Okay, let's... Here. This, this low level challenge, it's so counterintuitive to how I play JRPGs. Like, I just want to over, over level and grind, but... a decent amount um, of money. We don't need to buy anything. We don't need to get the um, material. Yeah. They're gonna say to us, um, oh, you, you need to buy this, this, this in, in June on. We, we should have enough money now. do that because of this
I think two should be enough. Usually I have three. But I find like maybe that's um not needed. And I could probably also have like three here, but it doesn't push the line down enough. Hence. Hence. Hence my strategium. At the end of the day, they just need to be alive. Chop chop. Easy. There go. Lovely. Okay, now these boys can uh, all march down now. Although they're probably going to get into the battle really late and not even play a part. But that is okay. Such is the way of things. Kill! Kill! That's for, um, um, Nanaki, Red 13. This is why we are fighting. We're fighting for Big Chicken. Enough. No. So, Magic Home for Red 13, aka Nanaki. Switch him in. Uh, have I equipped you yet? I think I equipped you. Yeah. But the guide specifies it needs to be the two ladies. The two ladies. So. Uh, um. Save. to my guide. Place Cloud and Tifa in front row because we want them to die. Okay, now we fight an enemy called Button Waste. You might be thinking that's a disgusting name for an enemy. Okay. How to make the rules. You monster. Uh oh. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. People are dying. Alright. Get to, to June on. Even fighting that thing to get um, the white wind, I'm 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 considering to it considering it to be non-essential to this playthrough. But I think having big guard, it is worth it. Uh, wait, 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 I'm gonna save out here because that was a bit of walking around. This next bit requires a little bit of luck. You see, I have to throw a deadly waste. Okay. 
see Priscilla talking to Mr. Dolphin. Priscilla, it's a dolphin. <laughs> okay. Deadly waste. Defend. And it didn't inflict um, poison status, so we've got to reset it. Uh, restart. We'll try one more time. If I don't get it, I'm gonna have to put it into like stream sniping mode because my dinner's ready <laughs> and I want to feed myself. Because I mean, look at me. A guy like me needs to be fed. I need to consume. Now, have Eris defend, never attack him again, and you'll never have to deal with Moonstrike and the infamous bubbles. <clears throat> Cloud and Tifa will die after a while, so there's no need to worry about them. But you have to make sure Aerith's HP never falls below 60. Okay. He's also weak against poison. <laughs> That's right. Kill them. I can do character XS HP never goes below the witch hit engine. Really? Tifa's dead. Oh no. <clears> Hmm. <throat> right, okay, okay. Lucian on her. Yeah, this is a nice little strat. Steel. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yep. I could also use my limit. Oh, that's because. Right, right. Oops. You got defend, girl. Defend. Don't, don't hit her. Bang. Ow. Defend. Oops, I forgot. I forgot. This is... Yeah, you're 
you're about to die. And plus I got like a limit break in, in waiting for me. Seven. Big wave. Uh, just one moment, and we will be right back. So evil, wow. Time to um, form sleepy hour and child. Okay, yeah, that last one was a bit sus, but... That's right, give it, give it another big one to... Alright, one more. <clears throat> I wonder if it's like, you know, they... they d I wonder if they would have programmed a bad ending, like Priscilla dies, or would that be too dark? <clears throat> Probably too dark. Alright, let's have a look at this guy. Enter the shop, make sure you have 30 grenades. You should have more than enough to afford that. Okay, that's why we did the, the ether farming before. Make sure you have 30 grenades. We well, should have more than that. Okay. So we need to buy um, 17. There we go. Anything else that we need? Um, more? <clears throat> okay, no, that's it. Go visit Priscilla. Okay, needs to rest. Okay. Does that mean I also need to rest? Hey, come here for a while. Five years ago, what? I don't remember. Bullshit. It's lying. Lies. Keep stacking up. Now, I believe... memory serves correct <clears throat> and if I refer to my notes um, at this point yeah, yeah after defeating bottom swell but before talking to Priscilla it's another opportunity to have a, a battle at Fort Condor so let's do that <clears throat> <clears throat>
because afterwards <clears throat> you don't get the um the nice rewards. Oh, well, you, you do, but like they're generic. Like I don't care about um ethers or megalixes, really. <clears throat> this might be an opportunity for hmm nah no because I still don't have manipulate Should work out nicely. Nicely. Something like that. Something like that. Easy. Kill the bird. Kill the bird. Kill that bird. Snap its neck. Surprises. Lovely. And you did? There we go. Give me that piece ring. There we go. How much money have you got? Yeah, that's alright. Um, and you're gonna sleep in the bay. That's what you're gonna do. Easy. 
Peace ring. Yay. Powerist? Uh, nah. Look. I think I prefer the uh, protect. So I'll improve defense. Gangs together. Give me my Shiva. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Use the dolphin. Yeah, good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the whistle, yep. Yeah. Sure. It takes two tries if you don't move. Here we go. The high wind. save later. Hmm. Ah, I forgot. So, I'm not going to be able to save straight away, okay. Get a higher score than 50%. Sister Ray. Don't sneak in the back.
Damn it. No. You need to get like uh better than that, so. It's not too far back. It's fine. There we go. Yoink. Now I think, um... What are the rewards for that? It doesn't say in the guide, but like, the guide wants you to get money. And I'm like, oh, okay. Considering, like, the parameters for the guide, like, I don't, I don't blame it. Lazy. No break for me. No. Get out of here. Okay, let's say yeah, boom. Let's go, let's go. Boom 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 boom. It's the material shop, I believe. So obviously having a revive would be nice, instead of having to constantly use that Phoenix Downs. I mean different as to having a seal, but we'll have one more restore as well. There's no reason to buy any of this stuff. Mostly because we stole it all. Except for the diamond pin. Diamond pin you can get from the um, an enemy in uh, near the Borel reactor. But that's a ways off still. Boomerang is from those swooping bird things um, near Fort uh, Corral. Fort Condor. Oops. Yeah, don't need it. 
because we're not going to be able to get Yuffie for an extended period of time. Hmm. So we come for the Poker Match? Well, take off your mask. That's the rule. Fuck your rules. Fuck your rules! Um. Yep. Lovely. Don't buy any of it. Let's go here. Alright. Um, you can give me something. Alright, oh, no, that's right. This is where we get the second uh, enemy skill. Rather weird place. Anyways, have you woke him up? Yep, you're a dumbass. Very cool with cats. Lovely. Consume all this. Lovely. Yeah, here. Down there is the um the underwater reactor, which we can't access yet. Another bar with the Turks. Soldier boy. Uh, this in here, it's kind of crap. Uh, this is a rip off place. We've got one of each. So we're okay there. Here you can buy accessories. There's no reason to buy any of those. stars. Get Shrek. Um, this place has crappy stuff. Crappy, 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 yuck, poo poo, no, don't touch. Um, let's go back to here. Because we got the save point. did a lot of stuff just now, <clears throat> even though it didn't seem like it. Now we're going to do the send-off. If you do really well, you get a sword, which is like, mm. And I think the second best one is the one where he gives you the HP plus material, which usually costs 8,000 gil. So that's the one you really want. It's just hard honing in on it. Let's see if there's anything here. <clears throat> oh, 
oh, they're saying that I should buy, I should have bought things. Okay, so we'll restart. Fair enough. I need to buy um some echo screens, apparently. Mm -hmm. Um, who sells Echo Screens? I think it's back. Uh, this one? No. I think it's you. American 15. Okay. I think um, if you get between 70 and 100, that's when you get the HP plus. If you get over 100, you get the, um, the Force Stealer Sword, which I don't really care for, but, you know, it is what it is. What the fuck? Um, after doing all that, if I fluff the, um... Is this one? If I fluff the uh, the send off, I'd have to restart anyway. So here we go. It's time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you see that? You see that right at the end? Well, I'm gonna get the four seal then. Fuck it, whatever. They gave you 30 for doing the, the special right at the end. Beep, 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 beep. You can see, um, the Nanaki right there. Hello, Nanaki. Oh, I didn't even get to speak to him. She said, <clears throat> I'll tell you something there. 
Is that? Yeah, I think so. I thought, um... Oh, Yuffie would be down here. But... Yeah. So we're gonna pick her up. <laughs> Someone's missing. Someone's missing. Some pep in my step. He's Barrett. Barrett don't need no tan. of levity. Japan issues. What? What? Japan issues destruction order after North Korea announces the satellite launch window. Ah. <laughs> North Korea trying to launch a, uh, a satellite? Nah, bruh, that's not how these this works. That's not how this works. Like, Japan will blow that shit up, don't you worry. Um... Here's the one. Okay, I guess not. So I'll talk to everyone, I think. skill layer because <clears throat> I think that Genova will hit us with something just wondering how to progress this Invisible Alpha. Hmm. Maybe talk with a uh, Tifa? That is the trigger. About to have to do something stupid when we start.
<clears throat> oh, he's going to get him. Okay. <clears throat> Cloud. Tifa. Aries. Put everyone in the back row. Equip Cloud with a forced stealer? No. Powerist. And give the hyper you found behind Don Corn Corneo's bed to Aerith. <laughs> Excuse me. A hyper, huh? Now, let me just uh, save. Now here is where we can steal some Shinra Beta, so we're going to take the opportunity to do that. Don't really need another sense. Yep. That works out well. Tick, tick. I think in here, we can run around here and still, yeah, on fights. Okay, um, steel, steel, steel. It's gonna take us a while though. Lovely, let me steal your clothing from you. Snatching candy from a baby. Give up your shit. Thank you. Now equip the new stuff. Oh baby. That's more material slots. E. You can have that. Actually no, you can have that. You can have... Um, 
that there and put that there. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we'll do this one more time. Nope. No, no, no. Ice too. Shit. Touch. Don't touch. Shit. That's quite feisty of them. That's quite feisty. <laughs> there we go. I'm guessing blindness doesn't help. Probably doesn't help the stealing process. Probably doesn't help. On the bright side, I only need to steal the three items from these three idiots. And now it's all over. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Good, good, good. Is hanging on for dear life. Come on. There we are. So now, um, the other members, so Barrett, Nanaki, and uh, in future Sid, will have access to the Shimmer Bay. Um, Vincent and... Oh, there's also Kate Sith. Ah, by the time Sid comes, like, um, the Shinra Bay is not a thing. So yeah. Hello, Krenomagus. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Yes, yes, yes. And you can also have a cheer. Hmm. Yes. That were last streaming. Dot. I'm good. I'm good. Um, the objective for today's stream is going to be to finish this one at least. National holiday. No work. Nice. Excellent. I hope that um, you've got a few things lined up, or if you've already done them, if the day's over, that you're relaxing and, you know, chilling out, recharging your batteries. Yeah. So right here, we just stole six Shinra Beta, and we're going to go in to fight Genova Birth. Run away. Hmm, 
is for Yaf. Six hours early in here, slept in, nice. Sleeping in so good. Like, having to wake up, you know, naturally without an alarm. That's the best state of being. The time has come. Wonder, do can I steal something from you? Probably not. Alright. But we can sense something from you, surely. I need to do this quick. That's good. <clears throat> Throw grenades and use limit breaks to deal damage and have Aerith heal as soon as her limit break was okay. Okay. Basically, like, use a lot of uh, grenades and limit breaks. Okay. So, um, we gotta make sure that, um, Ares is alive. Little twin, okay. Throwing the nades. Damn, she did a twofer. Oh, I could have done a steel eagle. Yeah, it's fine. I might do it on the next one. A grenade. A grenade. A grenade. Hey, hey. You can't stop berries from being a fucking queen. Nice try, bitch. Will that help me? Yeah, immune. Okay. Fair enough. Shit. That was like three of those in a row. That was uh, absolutely disgusting. W, yep, tail laser, yep, cool. So now she's dead again. Oh no, she's still alive. Um, <coughs> I'll give her that. Okay. Shiva, yep. Shiva me timbers. Jesus, she loves. Oh, she's so naughty. Oh. Oh. Um. Because right, summoning Shifa takes away pretty much all of Tifa's. MP. 
Okay, I probably should have thought of that before. Oh. Let's do Silt Evil. Take that. Awesome, did nothing. He <laughs> did nothing. How about... No, no, no. How about... Wait. Oh, okay. Fire? Do you like the fire? It doesn't matter if um, Tifa and Cloud die at this point because she's so low in health. Shuffle grenade. Heal the queen. Yeah, she does. She does she's fine. Yeah. Just heal Aerith. That's it. One grenade and you're gone. Yes. Yes. Come on. She's gonna do it to um. No, okay. Cloud stopped. Come on. Kill Cloud. Do it. Fuck. Don't. Okay, good. Do clap, please. We're waiting. See how close she is? Just a little song.
<laughs> now, where do I go? <clears throat> Don't sleep in an inn or remove fury from Aerith before Cosmo Canyon. Yep, they want me to get all the arms from the um the house on sale. Ex president of Shinra. They want me to buy a couple of softs, but they don't specify. They say a couple, so what, two? Right, there's a lot of like text here. Replace Tifa with someone that's alive. Two party members better than one. Reviving Cloud isn't necessarily. They want her to have the fire ring that I'm about to pick up. Yeah, Prison Rufus. <laughs> you messed up big time. Helicopter, helicopter. Boom. Give me my treasure. Right here. Mine. Hell yeah, I'm gonna help myself. Okay, motor drive is for Tiva. No need. Um, firing. Mm -hmm. Sell off shit. Buy um, 20 Molotovs and 50 Tranquilizers. Okay. Set it by a couple of softs. So let's say a couple meaning four. Maybe five. Hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Now, they want me to buy how many? 50 tranquilizers. Alright. And then our uh, Molotovs. 20. Uh, sorry. 20 Molotovs. Bastard and like under kick the ball into Nanaki, which is really fucked behavior. We don't abuse animals here. We were in soldier and childhood friends before that. You were such a playboy and a fucking rim murderer. That was like the, the most bizarre bit of interaction, possibly in the game. And also, how the fuck is he able to afford a, an apartment in Costa del Sol? Hmm, probably 
your drug meal. Okay. Here's where we get the mollies. Are we gonna have enough? We got enough for like 11. Okay, so we gotta sell off some stuff. Okay. One ether. Oh, okay, I see how this would have been okay if the Genova um, birth thing tried to cast silence on me. I could see how that could be. Carbon bangles, yeah, I guess get rid of them. These things, sure. Um, what else? Do I, mm, yeah. Close. Uh, what else can we sell? I'm not selling materia. Favorite Pokemon? Uh, that depends. Like, we're talking like, you know, references to the animation, then Psyduck. I like Psyduck and the animation. Because he kept getting into stupid situations and then like he's like, Psy! It, it was good. It was good. Good times. But if we're talking about like in, in the games, my favorite is um, Alakazam. Yeah. So Psyduck, if we're talking about like anime, and um, in game, Alakazam. to represent my team. Yeah, Alakazam. It would still be Alakazam. I wonder is it still fun? No. Hmm. Hmm. Sixteen. I mean, I don't, I don't want to sell, like, weapons, but the armor, which can be picked up rather easily, that's fine to me. I don't know. Yeah. Or, or rather just Alakazam in particular. But, um, yeah, the amount of times that I've played Pokemon Blue, you'd, you'd almost think, oh, Blastoise would be my favorite, because I always pick Bla um, Squirtle. Why do I need uh, 20? I think that's fine just to have 20. Uh, and then while I'm going towards the thing, I'll also pick up the uh, TS bombs. Yeah. That seems. Yeah. Okay, time point.
list. It's no use, it's no go. Head west. I understand. I want to see... Coffee is such a treat. Mm -hmm. It is, like when, like when you're ready for it, like you've, you've prepared it, you're sitting down, like no distractions, and then you're like, ah, it is good, it is really good. Now, we will be trying to look for the beach plugs later, but... That's right. Gonna get her out of the party, we'll put him back. And then we'll switch the material over. There we go, something like that. Um, what's something that's going to get me here? Probably, that should be fine for now. Switch with Tifa. Lovely. Ah, there's Ifrit now as well. Hmm. Swap out what? Just make sure to have your coffee 90 minutes or after you wake up. That way the uh, adenosine in your body naturally dissipates. Mm. to pick fights. Let's see, are they even in this area? No, they're not in this area. Not yet. Okay. Yep, the 90 minute roll. Yep. Looks like... Oh, looks like a message has come through. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, I don't know why um, Twitch gobbles up like chat messages occasionally. It is infuriating though. I do agree. That's right, the first time we get to Coral, we have to go through this weird method. I mean, through this weird, uh, weird way. Don't touch the birds. It was probably fart fart poo poo, something like that, yeah. Fart fart poo poo. Chef's kiss. All right, here is where we can steal something. Um, from the enemy. Let's see if we, we can even find. This is the enemy. Here it is. Oh, 
I wonder if he'll just give it up straight away. Why not? I might just kill one straight away. Seal evil. Attack it, kill it. Quake it up. Some more quake. There we go. Well, let's concentrate on stealing this thing. Done anything? Got it straight away. Now I'm pretty sure that's for Nanaki. Yep, done anything with Nanaki. Okay. And it said for me to put the um, more tops up near the top because that's how we're gonna roll apparently things. Do we need to go that way or the other? Yeah, probably this way. Oh, okay, it's got to collapse. Get the one on the right first. And the other's a wizard staff, I believe. I believe. I think there's one other opportunity for me to fall through the cracks. Ooh, that was pretty awesome. I was literally like, I was stun locked and they wouldn't let me escape. And it's like, oh, you're dead. Oh, but why am I dead? No, you just did. Like, don't question it. But I'm questioning it. I'm questioning it. Very questionable. That was absolutely fucked. Okay, so here's what we're going to do here. Garrett's going to revive with life. There we go. There. Lay sigh. Lay 
Should we transform material? Damn it. Top. That's where we gotta go. Because up top is where the lever is. Go, Cloud, go! I'm going. Don't need to hurry me. Fucking questionable. That was disgusting. Mm. Done. Now where's them birds? Check out these birds. See the treasure near it? Hey, baby. Okay. It's not my treasure. So, apparently, if you are, like, you know, an evil person, <coughs> you can steal the treasure. It's uh, 10 Phoenix Downs. But in the context of, you know, what you're doing, like, no. Like, leave, leave the baby chick's uh, treasure, you degenerate. Okay. I thought it'd be easy enough for me to just jump down here, but it's not. Than once. Run away, please. Run away, thank you. Thank you. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Run away, good. something down here This guy's like, I live in a cave. It's like, why do you live in a cave? And then he's like, I live in a cave. And then like, you're slowly backing away. Steal some of them right arms. He lives in a cave because he married that industrial equipment. Well, there's no law against it, is there? When a man loves his drill set, titanium tip extensions. By the way, hello, hallelujah, hope you're well. We are well on the way to uh, completing disc one on attempt two. We're well on our way. And this is where we watch our barrier beaten up a little bit. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I'm sorry. So here, save here. Around there. Somewhere around there. I think there's like what? You can stay at the um, quote unquote inn for like 10 gil or something. I'll take my chances. Doesn't have a lot of dialogue. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He's low to the uh, the equipment. Ugh. When the uh, concretes are shaken, don't come a conversating. Because he's molesting his drills and his jackhammers. He's jacking off. steal some more um right we're gonna steal some ts bombs before the game was like okay like you've got to um win the battle and then like you might drop a ts bomb but like no 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 we can get in, like four battles something like that four battles well not with these things So if we hang around here, we should be able to fight, fight them. Yeah, there we go. We'll kill this uh, floating juggler. That probably got rid of like a lot of money, but for me, a lot of money is like not much money. Because I only have 260 or something on me. Seal evil. Cross slash on you specifically. Give him the chop. Okay, he's not out there yet, but he will be gone soon. There we go. See? PS bomb. Uh, kill that one because it's no longer useful to me. Why won't you die? Thank you. There we go. These TS bombs are hella useful for certain um, enemies. Like in the uh, guy's cliff, the icicles, it's like a one hit kill. Before I was like, oh shit, like, could this be a potential run killer? But that's how bad it was. Uh oh. <laughs> that was not nice. When the Joker hit. Let's uh, all get in the back row, shall we? Let's all get in the back row. Oh, lovely. Nice. Bolt. Fucking. Just hit it. Fire. That was the... Okay, yep. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Steel.
Don't die. You're not making it easy for me. Bomb. Steal. Thank you. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Don't die. Um, let's just save. I forgot that they hit like a ton of bricks. I forgot. Alright. Um, I think it's a reference to, like, something in real life. I think it's from something in World War II. A thermobaric weapon? No, maybe? I thought, like, TS specifically. Be thermobaric. TS. Mm. Or oh, tit shit. A tit shit bomb. Mm, tit shit. Mm. I want to use a tent. No, I'm not. Because I'm stingy. I'll just go back to the inn. And hope that I don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Yep. I'm glad that we solved the mystery. Tit shit bomb. Tit shit. We got four or five tears. Yeah, we, we want something like 10. And that will set us up for the entire game. That way we don't really have to come back here to, like, farm this shit. It's like, it's on the way! Really? Um, mm. No, nah, I can't even get to him because he's in the back row. Like a little bitch. Like a bitch. There we go, that's what we want. Or do we? Because these things hit hard. <clears throat> they hit very hard. And dead. You know what's fuck you, bitch. Okay. Okay, if we could, like, just not... Oh, kill Barret. Um... Life. Aerith, and dead. Cool, I gotta go now, bye-bye. We we'll got one more. Um... Let's switch the material around. <laughs> that didn't cost a lot of material. No. I enjoy doing that. Alright. Run away. And I will run away. I will run away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Shit. 
clicked on my stick. There we go. Um, sleep, no. Just kill. Just kill. There we go. Okay, good. Thank you. Now is that gonna be it? Nine. I kinda want one more. I know, we kinda want that for us. I want that for you. Give it up. Give it up. Give it. Steal from the back row. Fuck, Ares is like a fucking sticky fingers. Holy shit. I think they got us up to like 12. Wow, look at that. Wow. What a klepto bitch. Queen of the snatch and grab. to get 30 right arm. But it's not going to be as arduous as what you might think. Like all three of them have uh, steel. We've got the cursor on memory. So this should be just like snatch and grab. Hella easy. Just give me that right arm, bitch. There we go. See you later. I'm gonna put um this one back on Barrett. Just gotta be wary of being like um cornered by the chickens. I mean in a pincer attack. But other than that, this should be right. Right arm, there we go. We save on every five. That's 
three. Hey yo. Some healing material. Yes. How would you do the? Um, I am doing a low level run of Final Fantasy 7 in order to get my RA badge. Yes. I'm assuming that you like Final Fantasy 7. As much as all of us here. Yes. Um, I'm following a, a guide, but the guide is a no materia uh, guide. And, um,. Concerning RA, there's no such limitation. So that's why I'm using the opportunity to steal right arms to make it easier on myself. There we go. Nice. Let me live. Let me live. Do I have four or five? Five. There we go. Let's get saving. I think I'll only do like, a, like, hmm, obviously I have to do lots and lots of Final Fantasy 7 before I finish it, but, yeah. This one's like, um, it's not like, you know, a fun playthrough of Final Fantasy 7, it's more like, if you want the badge, you have to do this kind of playthrough. So that's why there's going to be a, a lot of, um, use of fast forwarding. But, you know, it's, it's fine. I can chat with uh, people in the chat about their day and be the agony aunt. It's all good. So what about you, uh, Pramahead? Are you a Twitch streamer as well? Do you stream Final Fantasy 7 or other Final Fantasy games? Myself, um, I'm an Aussie. Um, I used to live in Japan, but I've come back to Australia. Um, and yeah, I do modern and uh, retro. Damn, that's some good odds. Okay, this is what I was scared of. So I guess we could use a right arm just to get rid of that chicken. Because I, I don't want to be like pincered to death. Alright, I'm just gonna get this off first. Right arm on you. Yeah. Worth it. Because those chickens, they slap you pretty hard. And basically, this is like free. This is like a free meal. Free chicken McNuggets. You just, you just tell the um the drive through person the secret code and he gives you a big pack of chicken nuggets. That's what this is. This is absolutely not cheating, but I am making it as easy as possible for myself as possible. Aim, son. Are we at nine or ten? Ten. Time to save again. I think it's saying something like, oh, you need like 20 Molotovs. I'm like, really? Do I need 20 Molotovs? I don't think so. Hmm. Big shot. Set the chicken on fire. 
I want to see if I can like get away with not using my item. Here we go. Fortunately, you don't like get into that pincer formation so often. It's mostly just this boy. Big red spicy McChicken nugget. Dipped in that jalapeno sauce. Nice. And eventually, when the uh, the opportunity arises, when we get the, the tiny Bronco, we'll go to the beach near the Medill area to fight sea worms and steal dragon scales, because they're an OP item as well. Not the most compelling gameplay, but uh, you know, I got I gotta make this um, easier on myself because I messed up an entire run. I got all the way to Hojo, and I messed up the low level. I looked and I saw that Yuffie was level twenty nine, and my heart's my heart just sank. And I saw that Vincent was level thirty. I was like, oh. <laughs> It didn't feel good. One more. No! Chicken bag. No chicken. Such an OP item at this stage of the game. It's pretty disgusting, actually. Right, we're at 15. Another five more, and then we can proceed into a Gorn Show Show. Oops. I see that um, Nintendo um, put in a um, DMCA claim, cease and desist, to the creators of the Dolphin emulator. Um, however, um, Dolphin fucked up. They put out information that they could have kept out, but they were lazy, and they, yeah. Basically, it's all on the uh, Dolphin devs to take the offending code out. I understand why they did it at first, but you, 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 you literally can't do what they did. It's very naughty what they did. Um, there's a YouTube channel called Modern Vintage Gamer. A lot of people are familiar with his stuff now. Um, he, he explains it in detail. Come on. Get the chicken out of here. Four more. See, this um, grinding session for uh, bombs, I mean right arms, hasn't been painful at all. Because the enemy that we want to steal from, not only does it not really hit back, like 9 times out of 10, that's the enemy that we get. So it makes a stealing off it, like, trivial. Hmm. 
Two more or one more? Two more. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Oop. That's the one thing about Final Fantasy VII. Um, if you if you play long enough, like when you do fast forward battles and you you're trying to run away, the the top buttons on your controller get mounted over time. Take a rest of this here in the hook. 50 gil. Hell yeah. Now, that being said, ooh, in order to get into Golden Saucer, I need um, 3,000, don't I? I need a little bit of money. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's like uh, three thousand for one visit, and then thirty thousand for a lifetime ticket. Do I have like an... No, I don't have anything really to offload. Okay. How are we going to do this? Neither of these two things... Um, will cut it. Now, okay, we can steal diamond pins. How much is one diamond pin? Still in that town? Went back to the dude with his Indus equipment at night? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Um. Where is it? Diamond pin. Okay, 650 a pop. So we need to steal how much? Six of them? Five of them. Four of them. No, five of them. We need to steal five more of these. Because I think we're too far away from, uh, like, um, enemies that drop, um, uh, enemies that drop ethers. There we go. So if I hang around, around here... No, don't touch. No, don't touch. Oh, you are right. But we're not going to go back to him. We're not going to go back to that dude. He's down there. He's very happy in his cave. Molesting his industrial equipment. Alright, here it is. Steal, steal, steal. Give me what I want. Oh, 
please give me all the things. Come on. Help me out here. Give it up, bitch. Come on. Lately, um, where I am in WA. It's been getting a pretty fucking cold. Like I'm, I'm fully ready for sleep by midnight. As in, like, I'll, I'll hit the mattress and then ten minutes later I'm gone until next morning. This thing does not want to give up its secrets. How about now? Fuck, all this for a diamond? Um, pin. wow. Disgusting. So I'll need uh, four more of them. There should be one where there's two of them. I'd like to get that one. No. Well, just doesn't want to. Help me out. Wee. Come on. Looks more like it. And now just start stealing. There we go. That took far less than the last one. As you can see, we have three of them now. Sell them soon. I, for some reason, I would, I want to hang on to the, the bronze bangles. Come on, come on. Actually, hurt a lot. Hmm. I'm surprised I haven't found the um the two pattern one, but maybe it's because it's in a different area. Maybe it's only possible to get this this pattern, which is fair. It's not gonna work for this bird, I don't think. Casting silence on it actually. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it's 
that's not their point. Alright, um, bu bu Alright. I need one more, right? No, no, I, I need six. Okay, okay. Two more. Thank God for stealing. Damn it. Oh well. Give me pin. Don't give me poison crap. Me no like your stinky breath. Me no like your stinky breath. One more. One HP in a dream. Good job, Eric. desire. Give me all the things. Bye-bye. I can need to go. Sure, I'll steal some extra right arms. Hell yeah, I'm in, I'm in the market for it. I will allow it. Sell. There we go. Thank you all very much. Save here because saving at the gold saucer is a bit of a bitch. Okay, finally we can progress. Key, Dime was in the right. He got peer pressured by people that want to be lazy. He was probably the smartest person there. And he allowed the dumb shits to overrule him. This is what happens. It is better to be a benevolent dictator than for retard mob rule. I probably shouldn't say the R word.
Okay. Ah, cutscene. <laughs> what do you think it, like it's meant to be? Like a, a tree? A mushroom? It's pretty big. Go on, Salsa, yay! Ah. I, yeah, I, I do agree there for the episode two of the remake. Yeah. That's, that's why I think episode 2 is going to take like longer than what they initially say it's going to take. Because like, if episode 1 is just um, Midgar, then like this, it's got to be the entire world. It's like, oh, that's, that's a big ask. And plus, it, there are so many iconic locations, including Gold Saucer, yes, yes, yes. 3000? That's it. Pay the 3,000. I will enjoy myself at the Gone Saucer. Or will I? Let's make Barrett mad. Raptor Sephiroth. He mad. I think we just need to go to Wonder Square to trigger this off, don't we? Yay! Yay! And everyone's favourite character... Cat Shit. I feel very tempted to rename Kate Sith. At shit, but uh, I also prefer default names. <laughs> yawny, yawny, yawn, yawn. Okay, so. Because the guy tells us exactly what to do here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Head for the save as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. Remove the transform um, material from the K2. Equip him with a bronze bangle. We'll get rid of that as well. Give him the bronze bangle. Hell yeah. And then Cloud can have the silver armor. Nice. I think uh, the battle with Dine, that I'm pretty sure that's Barrett only, right? Molotov, Molotov, High Potion, Molotov, High Potion, Molotov. No, 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 no. We're going to be using some uh, right arms for dying for Shao. In fact, it's probably just going to be one right arm and he's dead. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wait, actually. How much, how much gear do we have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's play the, um, the Mog 6 game, yeah? Everybody loves the Mog 6 game. What's the Mog 6 game? I'm glad you asked. It's this one. Yeah. Try. This is Mog House. It's a Mog forest on Mount Mog. Begin with another day in the life of a Mog. Look at this fat shit. This year, Mog is Pippa Papu Boy years old. That's 28 human years. He's at that age when he should be looking for a mate. Unfortunately, he's an idiot. Before Mog can become an adult, he first needs to learn how to fly. And buy condoms. Even though Mog trains hard every day, he still can't seem to get off the ground. Let's laugh at this dumb shit. Lol. Kneecaps explode out of his legs. Looks like he's still got a long way to go. Here's where you come in. Help Mug learn to fly by pushing O button and feeding him his favorite coupon nut. Don't overfeed him. <laughs> he won't be able to fly if he's too fat. Hmm. Gobble the nut. I said gobble the nut. You gobble that fucking nut. Oh, you want some more? Yeah. Oh, you still want more, you gritty shit. Yeah. Gobble my nut. Gobble my nut. More nut. Ah. Skeet, skeet. Alright, I think, I think he's done now. I think he's done now. Much more mature than I imagined. Mmm. This is the X-rated version of, um, Mog's Sex Dungeon. Oh? It seems like Mog's decided to take another shot at it. Look at the little bitch. He did it. He's flying. Now he's finally become a full-fledged monk. Wonderful. Well, that's in the game. Thanks for playing. He's gonna jerk off. Tap it relaxed. Our little monk turns out the lights early and goes to bed. Good night and sweet dreams. Nah, nay. Oh, watch this. Here comes a female mug. Oh, warriors. Come out to play. Seems like he likes her too. Time to impress the fat bitch. Now we might be able to fly gracefully in front of her. Help him out with your goggle by that. Skitty yeet. Skitty yeet. He's still hungry for nut. You gobble that nut. Dang your mouth. Boss it in there. One last skeet. Yeet. Oh, he's gobbled up so much nut. It's a nut gobbling machine. You be wary around this one. Keep your hands at your sides. Don't even, don't even make eye contact. You filthy degenerate. Oh, it seems like Mug's decided to take another shot at it. He's flying. Bob was able to do it. Hmm. 
Hmm. She must have fallen for his graceful flying form. Hmm. Sometime later. There's a little nut gobbler right now. Looks like things are going good for his new mob friend. Time for a quiet date in the forest. Her name is Mag. She's a good natured mog. Best of luck to the both of you, Mog and Mag. May you have lots and lots of healthy mogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> twelve children. Hmm. Uh, no worries there, I guess. And he's like, he, I had 12 children. I'm, I'm just as like disappointed with Mag. Mag allowed that to happen 12 times. And the guy that was watching, he's feeling my ass. Stop him, my ass. 3GP? Oh. And that's why I did that. 100 gil for 30 GP all day every day All the other games here kind of fun to do except not really they don't give you enough money It's all about the chocobo square and the ballerina Okay, speaking of the ballerina Yep Illuminati masterpiece. Oh, imagine, imagine the mob game in the remake. Oh, oh, I will. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Battle. He's dead. Yeah, we're about to get. Owned. Yeah, they're all shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is Aerith's fault because he riled up uh, Barrett. Instigated the uh, the massacre. Dio's in his underwear. It's like you interrupted my wank. Alright, check this out. You get like an aerial shot and you get to see um, clearly what the um, the writing on the, the circle is. So this scene here is like a one Sony scene. Gateway to heaven. Actually that's different writing to the other place, isn't it? Anyway. Jump in. Killed a man. Just leave me alone. Uh, shut up, cat shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How are we gonna do this? Because, okay. If they mug me and they take something very precious, uh, like a mega elixir, I'm gonna be chota angry. Total angry desu. Um, I could use the TS bomb and then try to run away and then hope that the other one doesn't fucking try to put his fingers in my bum hole. But that's wishful thinking, isn't it? Let's see how this shakes out.
Okay. Um, Tears Bomb, Tears Bomb. Is that not enough to kill him? Oh, okay, that's half. Okay. Um. Fuck. I don't mind about money. I don't mind about money. Uh, W machine gun. It's unique equipment. I would not. I'm just trying to think of like how far back. I don't care if my money's gone, because it's nothing. I care if the, the, the gun's gone, so we'll, I, we'll target the guy on the right. He's The guy on the left's already gone anyway. Oh, but I can't kill him. W, w machine gun. Let me just check if that's like unique equipment. If it's not, then like I'll, I'm fine. Even shits. Okay. Yep. It's fine. You can purchase it in Junon for 2,000 gil after the player has the high wind. That's all I need to know. Oh! Okay, okay. And zero XP. He's in the bum. Don't touch me. Do do that there. Do 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 do. Piggy's in the bum. Uh, swap material with. Ah oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Let's put him in the back. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I want to get the treasure. But first, let's uh, progress it on a bit further. Barrett's having a freak out. Dying the more logical one. He's like, okay, we just you know need to go back to the village. Okay. Now, is there? No, oh, that's coats. I think if you no, I'm not sure. Maybe you can steal X potions for them, or they drop X potions. Get the fuck. Um, you got a free heal here. Okay. 
Know about this area? Is there anything we can pick up here? <laughs> you gonna buy something? I got, I got no gill. I am buying shit. something already snatched from here don't think there's anything that way chicken racer meant to be and I didn't save again did I no I can run into the choke of a carriage soon. Thank you. Here it is. So, okay. Let me double check. Yeah, I mean, uh, do I need to speak to this dude? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that worked out. So, Barrett, you're going to just. Very useful enemy too. We can steal things from it as well. But the main use is it's um enemy skill laser. The thing is, um it's XP. And it's not a particularly useful enemy skill anyway, it's, it's very situational. And the TS bomb is gonna help us really, so let's just run away. Yep. There's my dime. He's dying to meet me. Puppy boop boop boop. Puppy boop boop boop. Puppy boop boop boop. Big head Marlene's still alive.
It's gonna take one. Yep. Get wrecked. Beep beep. No? Oh, that must be his final attack. Get absolutely stretched. That was a colon cleansing. Silver armor, yeah. Time for you to T pose off the uh, the cliff. T pose. Wee. Esther. And you can see the um the Rama material shining. Gimme. Mine. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah, I got it. I've completely forgotten everything. I've forgotten how to, um, fucking, um, to recover. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, how do I, how do I, how do I rec recover during the race? It's a specific, um, set of, uh, keys. Fuck. FF7, Chocobo Racing, um... Endurance. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Silly me for not um double checking, but whatever. Yeah. Holding R one and R two. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. I want to. Right. Shoot. I can make this up. Disgusting. Uh, okay, well, now that I know, now that I know, fuck, I thought it was like hold down, um, 
the top shoulder buttons, you know, the escape. Ah, uh, I have to restart. It's unfortunate. I hate that race so much every time I don't play it for long. Yeah. But I mean, once you know the trick, the trick is basically if you hold down R1 and R2, you constantly like gain or recover stamina. So basically you're just like tap, 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 tap the, uh, the sprint button to get a little bit ahead. And yeah, you should like have like so much stamina left over. But I mean, if you don't do that from the very beginning, No, no, I think I think I've got like um a, a different save file. Don't fret, don't fret. I'm not fretting yet. I'm not fretting yet. I always remember it when I lose the first second try, yeah. Like I haven't done Chocobo Racing for like ooh, how many months now? M many a month. It has been many a month. There it is. Dig you. Okay. I think I'll just mosey on down to the in here. Get inside the truck, sleep in the truck. So I don't die. Bum, 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 bum. Run away from the masks. There we go. Guess the story again. It's very unfortunate that I did all of that. I lose five minutes. Realistically, I lose five minutes. So I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in myself. So after this, we, um, we, uh, we win the Chugba race. We are allowed to leave the golden saucer. We get the buggy. Now, once we have the buggy, we can go back to, um, Fort Condor. Yeah, that's fine. We can also go to Gongaga. We can also go to um, Cosmo Canyon. Let's save here. Okay, through here. Okay. Not. Come on, Don. I don't mind the drums from times. I don't mind the sun. I don't mind the sun sometimes. You may be at the shows. I can taste you on my lips and smell you in my clothes. Cinnamon and sugary and softly spoken lies. You never know just how you look through other people's eyes. Okay, put this down here. And get Shrek. Wow, he didn't even, didn't even touch me then. And what's funny is, like, his um gun is grafted onto his left arm. I beat him with the right arm. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeet. Barrett's talking about fucking being clean and stuff. Like, like I'm not judging. Stinky brute.
Bloop. You can see the CRT monitor. Looks kind of cool. See down here. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You can be Batista, and we can power bomb each other. Or we suck each other each other's ball sacks. No, okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, here we go. In front. I'm holding the R2 and R1. Let him think he's gonna get in front. Oh, I'm letting you think. Oh, oh no, mate. Oh, and you've run out of it. Oh, he ran out of stammy. He ran out of stammy. Oh, poor baby. Now my fat bummed chicken is gonna win the race. Look how far ahead I am now. Now that I have the secret of the stamina unlocked. It's in the bag. Do -do 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 -do. Run, chicken. Run. Bro, we'll turn you into a chicken nugget. Yay, I win. Fuck are you. There we go. And you win nothing. You win your freedom. Mm -hmm. Buggy. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we can't go back to Coral Prison. So that's a shame. But we are going to go back to uh, Fort Condor. In order to do this, I okay, I do need like a little bit of money for the um, Starway shit. Oh, I also need money for for Condor, but I can steal some ethers, so. Don't worry, it, it'll all work out. So then there's um, Cosmo Canyon, you get past that, then there's Nibbleheim. Then there's Rocket Town, where we get the Tiny Bronco. And then it's close to going back to getting the Keystone at the Gold Saucer. So where we get betrayed by um, Cat Ship. And then Temple of the Ancients. And then finish off uh, this one after doing the Forgotten Capital. So, like I said, we can't go straight to Fort Condor. We don't have enough money. And they do be wanting money. So, we'll just steal a few ethers from the, uh, the Cretans. Back over near the Midgar Zolum. It's not too far of a um, track. So basically we just hang around this area and we don't want Big Mama fucking trying to put its finger in our butthole. Come on. 
steel. Change rows. Change row. Change row. Oh, just give me, give me your riches. Thank you. I got 90 minutes in before my first caffeine and I gotta say there's some truth to it yep that's why like like after I, f I did it the first couple times like to try to gauge if there was any difference and I was like yeah it works and like you look forward to that first coffee even more it's like it's like a little bit more potent I, I do still have like a second one pretty much straight after but that first one when it hits oh baby So, we, we can say that Joe Rogan is good for some things. Not for a lot of things, but for some things. Those are some nice um, emotes. The save from uh, FF7 and the other uh, mob from uh, FF6. I see you. They're pretty nice. Come on. Gimme. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. God, they're, they're really... Okay. Just trying to find them all, like Pokemon. Mm. I reckon there'd be some on a uh, better Twitch TV, yeah? I could probably, um... You know what? That's a fucking genius. That's a genius idea, Aaron. Uh, let's have a look here. I can add them in right now. That's if people are sharing Final Fantasy Seven emotes. Because how many how many um have I got left? Like uh, on my dashboard, I can have up to four hundred and seventy five, and I've only got two hundred. I've only got two hundred thirty three. So let's see. Let's do what popular. And I'll look up FF Seven. Okay, there's the, the save point one from Frosty Shark. Yeah, we'll, we'll add that one. Okay. How about if we look for things like, you know, Tifa or Cloud? Um, FF Cloud. Nope.
cloud, this cloud. Nah, I mean, like I find that um, when it comes to finding um, new, better Twitch TV stuff, usually it's best to go to a specialist channel and then like, you know, just getting like everything they have. I just have eight. Didn't find those already. I don't know. Cloud Jam. All right, I'm game. Let's have Cloud Jam in there. There we go. Done. Not sure if there'd be like some great ones in there. Let's look for Yuffie. Oh, um, of course I have my, um, Franker face ones. My Franker face ones are quite good, if I do say so myself. Um, let me see if I can pull them up. Wait, this is going to take a a, 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 a fair bit, because I, I have to I have to click on them individually. I think, unless I can figure out what they're. In. Nah, it's, it's probably just going to be easy like this. But in my opinion, it's pretty good. These can, of course, be added to other people's uh, Frankerface um, channels. Now that I've uploaded it to my Frankerface one, they can be shared globally. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time. One more. I think that that's it. There we go. What do you think of that? To be honest, I, I probably have more Final Fantasy VII emotes um, than most channels on the internet. <laughs> Because I, I never got rid of the ones on my Franker face. So they're like the character portraits for 10 of the, the main characters of Final Fantasy VII. They're not animated, but they're the, the original art. So I think that's pretty nice. And watch how, and watch how they float on the screen. Watch how they, watch how they float. Look at them float. Yes. Anyway, back to the game. Still, let's see if I can get this uh, last ether from this chicken. There we go, thank you. Thank you, chicken. Here we save. Uh, let me save one there. So, <clears throat> I need 4,000 in order to, like, uh, do the battles. Um, so how many is that? You get 750 from each ether. Two ethers, uh, 1,500. So I'd need, uh, what, six ethers, roughly? Roughly six ethers. So I already got three. I need three more. There we 
might just get into a different run. Is there really blitz in there right now? That's why I prefer to steal from the uh, the, um, the wolves before. Okay, good. I need uh, one more, but we're probably gonna get into a fight with like two or three of them. It's fine. Oop! Don't let the mid gas on touch my bottom. Oh. Okay, let's get into the back row. Seal that evil. Steel, 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 steel. Give it up, bird. Fucking bird. You walking chicken nugget. Carrier of avian diseases. Eyeball stealing bitch. Thank you. Job there. There we go. Lovely. I think I missed one battle. Because there's one where you gotta, like, go back on the boat, I think. But I'm like, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that noise. Fuck it. Go down to Nantucket and fuck it. Down. Down. Prices are down. Not about a happy mum. Here we go. Yeah, one times. Uh, ready. Oh, which uh, which battle did I miss? What what goodies did I miss? Ooh, I missed uh, three ethers. Oh no. Okay, but this time we can get a megalixer, which is I guess all right. 
So, is that the only other one that I want to really go for then? Pretty much. Like, in the other battles, it's like, um, High Potions. They're all crap. Or Turbo Ethers. Crap. X Potions. Crap. Then near the very end, like, you got some Elixirs, it's like, eh. But I mean, like, with the Elixir trick that we're going to be doing in the Great Glacier, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. It's only Battle 7. That's like, um, a one-off battle. I mean, like, the only chance you can get a particular weapon for Yuffie. And I'm not even sure I even want it. But it's just for completion's sake. But, yeah. We're, we're on, though. Okay, put my man here. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yep, yep. Kill. Kill. Near enough, good enough. Kill, Bobby. These two can just walk up anyway. Go to here. The straggler can also go there. Chop chop. There we go, that's pretty good. Kill it, yep. Kill, kill. Tincha, mm. wow! Three Tincha, wow! Oh, three Tincha! Isn't that meant to be Megalix? Three Tincha. So, Ether. I thought I was up to, um, Battle 4. Maybe if I talk to them straight away? No, I, I don't give enough of a fuck. I can't summon fucks. You got nothing I want. You got nothing I need. You got nothing I want. You got nothing I need.
say he's gonna go on Gaga now. Leave me alone, Babushka doll. Swarkot Vadamidis. Do not touch my genitals. No. No touch. No touch with the low touch. I think there's something near Gongaga called a Kimara bug that has stop. Actually, no, I've surpassed uh, Gongaga. There it is. Oops. This thing has Earth Drum. But I mean, do I do I really want an Earth Two spell item? It seems redonkuli to even suggest. Let's go in. Now we want. Oh, that's right. No, no, no. Follow the guide because this is um, a battle. This is a battle. I will steal that. Thank you. I think the guide says, like, obviously, this is like an optional battle, so. I don't think the guide wants us. To, the guide wants us to even go here. Equip Aerith with the silver armor that we won from Dime. Yep. What else? Stay away from Gongaga, as you do not want to fight the Turks. Okay. So basically, straight to. Uh, um, Cosmo. Fair enough. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. Now park your buggy here. If you do not, I'll show you the consequence. That is the consequence. It is only fixed after you complete the cave of the G. Um, now, depending on where you are with your FF7 journey, RA journey, um, you need that buggy in order to get back to Fort uh, Condor to get the um, the optional bells. Um, but for me, since I've already <laughs> done it, then I, I, I don't care. We're also not wanting to have a date with Barrett, and the golden um, saucer, so we don't need to do the glitch. And that is the monkey. Um. Where's the poster? Yep. There is another Skywalker. Mm. 
My father was a wastrel. Boop, 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 boop. Here he is. Number three was in um, Ghost Hotel. I'm not too worried because, you know, we need to go back to... Um, we need to go back to the Golden Saucer anyway. So yeah. Um, so in here, you can instigate a glitch. What's well, it's it's a dialogue glitch. So if you do um, first choice and then second choice, and then run out, then run back in, you can rinse repeat. Um, the first dialogue choice adds one to Barrett's like date meter thing, and the second like you know makes it so that you have to do the the dialogue again before it can like close itself off. So basically, basically it's like you know choice one, choice one, and then that's it. But if you do choice one, choice two, you can keep doing it indefinitely. So that's if uh, you really want to have a, a date with a man. knows everything. <laughs> He's still a child. Please, I'm 48. <laughs> this is me in real life, when my parents talk about me to other people. He is still a child. He's a very, very lazy, bold child. I want to be an adult. I want to be an adult. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Eat Pokemon to understand the juiciness inside. Pokey Flash, gotta eat them all. Wait, what? Yes. Bung and Hagen wants to show us his uh, apparatus. He likes a crab. Now, in my case, logically thinking, I think that the best people to bring would be Barrett and Ares. Because Barrett wants to learn about the planet. And Ares is uh, an ancient, so it's uh, appropriate that she learn. It's appropriate. I said, come on, for who got? Whoa, the cheat. Uh, arrow. Get like um, an elixir. Where is it? In here? In here? There it is. Hey, oop. Only 9 p.m. Okay, I just gotta keep my energy up. We should be able to. We should be able to do this one. We should.
Let's do the cutscene, it's fine. I'm Bungenhagen. I can float in the fucking air. Ho 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 ho. That's right, I can float in the fucking air. What are you gonna do about it? The faster we can do this, the better. It only starts getting a bit tricky for me when um, we're going through the cave of the G, and um, we have um, Aerith being the one that needs to stay alive, because you can only give the uh, battle XP to one person, the other two have to be KO'd, and at this level, Stinger is going to hurt when he touches my body. Yeah, after the Cave of the G, I'll have like a five minute break, you know, just like walk around, stretch and all that. And then we'll get straight back into it. I think it's like Rocket Town, and then, um, yeah, Golden Saucer, Temple of the Ancients, Bone Village, Forgotten Capital, done. See, I told you we can do this in, in like a, in, in one run tonight. I told you. that by the fire. Oh wait, can I see them down below? Not really. They haven't congregated. Or have they? So let me let me just eh no. See they're there. Or maybe like they were congregated there, it's just it was a bit difficult for me to spot them. Who's coming? Is it gonna be Aries? Yep. <laughs> of course, it's still a question. Okay. 
Okay. Rama. Rama. Uh, we're good. Wait for me, Bangen Hagen. the added hut material. You don't need to worry about any of these except for this one. A certain battle. to double check but I might be able to steal some things. Give me that added cut. Added effect, sorry. Which is even better. I I'm gonna do some work in the garden. Nice. We'll continue lurking. Thank you. I appreciate you, Chrono Magus. Don't, um, don't overdo it when it comes to gardening. Get on those knee pads, uh, bend with your knees, and don't overdo the weeding. Because it can cripple you for like a week. Sneaky step. Now I think a sneaky step we can steal um we can steal some nice things, but let me just double check. Seven sneaky step. Bubbity boop. They drop M tentacles. M tentacles very nice. Did they want me to fight these for M tentacles? Probably not. No worries, uh, Krona. I'm sure that like you're on top of it. Sneaky step, and then you got a head, probably. No, 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 no. They also have death sentence, but again, like, you know. Let's follow this guy, though. It's weird that it doesn't, um, like it, it, so again, this guide ignores material. So that's why I didn't say to pick up the, um, the added effect material. Such a good, um, material though. Run away. It said that we learned the, um, thing, but because we haven't killed the enemy, PC, which sucks. I wish you could like, you know, learn it, but run away. <sighs> it is what it is. Nothing. What are these things called? Hig. Hig. Hmm. 
they drop high potions, but you can't steal anything from them. Uh, K with a G. There should be like one other enemy here. Yeah, the G Spectre. They drop smoke bombs. Okay. And then you've got stingers. You can steal ethers from them, but I mean, it's it's not worth trying to steal from this thing. All right, back to it. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is that not? Oh, okay. Derp Nowitzki. Is there anything down here? Yes. Black and phone. Eat her. Tunnel 3 dead end, tunnel 1 and 5, uh, link each to each other, so it's 2 and 4. Tunnel 4 is optional. Yep, it's tunnel 2. So I have to, um... I have to kill this thing, obviously. If I do... Molot Molotov? Molotov? Does the, the, the guide... Yeah, says Molotovs. But we can kill some of our characters. Yeah. 
So no? No, not really. Come on. Just see once. Not her. Thank you. Have a right arm, Beehawks. Beehawks. Yeah, I better go in the back row. I am. Okay. Uh, yep. Do I have like restore? No. Let's let's. Switch that. Ice, fire, restore. Okay, you can have the poison. Lovely. Isn't she lovely? <clears throat> nope. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Mine. No. Um, is Fairy Ring gonna be useful for this? I honestly think just keeping the firing on her will be good. Okay, so for this one, I'm concerned. So I'm just gonna wake up, uh, fucking cloud. Um, we're going to use another right arm. Is that going to be enough? That's probably going to be another molly. Alright, maybe one more. The other items, the one on the right is an, um, an X potion, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah. Which is not essential. Do I revive them? Yep. So that you can have a, uh, a turbo ether? Fuck it. Yay. Now what else? Okay, she should have fury on her, okay.
Okay. I don't know why they said, like, you should revive um, the other two. Because um, in this battle, once you throw an elixir at this uh, guy, it's game over. Ooh, that chin. This is a strong chin. Um. Yep. Fuck it. Let's see if we can steal some things. Alright, Cloud's been taken over. Nothing to steal. Okay. like a Kindly not do that. Thank you. I will absorb that. Doesn't matter. I win. <laughs> they rated the battle elixir out of 10. That's a good guide. Retro Gamer 5000, hello. How are you? I just defeated the 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 thing. No, what I'm, what I'm doing is a low level challenge. Um, I messed up before, um, so now I'm having to do it again with my tail tucked between my legs. But I'm hoping to get a uh, disc one done by the end of tonight. What if you started FF7, got to Scorpion, and replaced Scorpion with Sephiroth? Mmm. That would probably be very difficult. <laughs> How would you react if you get to the part where Scorpion is instead of Sephiroth? Mmm. It'd be weird. <laughs> I'm guessing that if there's like an FF7 randomizer, and they, they put the Sephiroth that you um, you get brief access to uh, during the, the flashback, then it'd be like, hmm. And then, like, uh, the only way to defeat him would be to, like, to employ, like, some weird strategy. Like, what could you possibly do at that point in the game? Because I think some enemies, they do drop some things. For example, um, uh, there is an enemy that drops Deadly Waste. Or is, no, that's the second one. That's the second one. Oh yeah, there's like a begging mechanic. They'd be like, uh, Sephiroth, uh, look, I know that we've had our problems. Um, but if you just like chill this one time, Daddy chill. And that's like the, you know, that's the, that's the only way. And Sephiroth's like, well, if you suck my dick, I'll let you go. And then, like, Eris is, like, looking at you, like, you're not going to make me do that, are you? And Cloud's like, well, it's not going to be me. I'm not going to be gobbling the knob. It's like, do you want to be slashed in half? 
Well, actually, no, no, no. It'd, it'd be between um, Cloud and Barrett. It'd be, yeah. And Barrett's like trying to like you know pressure Cloud to do it, and Cloud's like, no, 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 no. I'm not about that life. And then, then uh, Sephiroth picks up on it and he's like, okay, it's a fight to the death. Whoever lives can suck my dick and I won't kill you. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> mm. Oh, the Wastrel. Seto. His reward for for um defending his clan is being like encased in a like stone in a stone statue form for 500 years he's very hungry he's very hungry what if Klaus Straff is gay well like Sephiroth would make a lot of people gay apparently so maybe 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 they've got like a, a samurai kind of like master master apprentice relationship already because like you know they're buddies since the wutai war mm. you could hack Final fantasy make it so you could farm materia early game or need to find treasures to beat him and game ends like um time traveling like uh killing hitler kind of, kind of scenario yeah i guess so or or like you summon Bungenhagen. And Bungenhagen like just like he blinks at Sephiroth and Sephiroth dies. And then you're like, whoa. How do you have all this power, Bungenhagen? And he's like, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. He tells you nothing. But like he literally floats in the air. I, I could believe that he could like one shot Sephiroth. It would just be fucking hilarious to have a hack get to Scorpion die and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm gonna fast forward this bit. We're gonna have Sato skate on the Nanaki. There we go. Tears of the father. Tears of the father. My dead 500 year old fucking drink the tears. Oh, you got one of them. Oh. Look at them eat them tears. Eat them out of the tear duct. It's like. Ooh. I just think when it comes to remakes, it's like, uh, like you, you've got this perfect thing that exists and people just see like a remake as like a, a cash grab, like, you know, like making, make a new story kind of thing. I think, um, like, would I say that I love the story of this game? No. I think I like the story of, um, four better. Even though 4 is a bit of a weird story. I like the story of 6 better. Uh, what's another one where the story is better? I've heard people say that the story in 10 is okay, but I've, I've not completed um, anything past 7. Uh, it's that I'm defending the remake because they gave backstory to Cloud a bit more. And they had him emote a bit more. I mean, like, um... When you, when you look at it though, they, they've really milked Final Fantasy 7. So like, if you have a look at the timeline, it's like, they pop this out. Next one was um, Dirge of Kerberos. Then after that, they do Crisis Core. Then you've got um, Advent Children, an actual movie. And then, um, did they do any more Final Fantasy 7 esque games? I'm trying to think. I think those are the main ones. And then of course, you know, we, we had rumors of a like a remake for years and then they they popped it out. So like they they've really milked 
specifically Final Fantasy 7 and I don't know why. I guess Cloud and Sephiroth are very strong characters. I guess? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so. Cloud, Tifa and Cat Shit. And then we gotta give them tranquilizers. I think that the um the story in seven is nonsensical, and the best character dies on disc one. I loved Aerith as a as a character, and the fact that she's like the last of the ancients, like the ancients were like so like like surf they were explored on a surface level. Tifa and Barrett, okay. I know a lot of people like really like Barrett. Um, for me, I like Darius the best. Oh, well, I also liked Yuffie. When I when I played this game, I was a teenager. I liked Yuffie. And also, like, the subtle commentary on, like, uh, post-war Japan. You know, with Wutai and everything. Yeah, yeah. With, with Meryl or with Marlene? I, I, I know what you mean though. So now that we got this all done... Yeah. But at the end of the day, like... Like, uh, these JRPGs are pretty much escapes from reality. They're not meant to have like, you know, like super detailed stories. They're just meant to work, I think. And um, I think the best thing about this game is probably the mat uh, materia system. I really like that. Um, in Final Fantasy VI, they had the um, uh, Magicite, the ma Magicite, um, which I really liked. Um, Final Fantasy IV, what do they have? Pretty rudimentary, but it, it improved upon the previous three. Final Fantasy IV is my favorite game of all time. FF5 it had the job system and that was like I think they expanded upon that more in, in tactics tactics was a much better execution of that whole idea but you know yeah, yeah. yeah. it's 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 um it's one of those games that defined the PS and um the era that it was in like the, the late um the late 90s so yeah I mean I still like it but I, I realize it has its flaws and I, I definitely will be glad to not play this game once I do this challenge see the whole reason that I'm doing this challenge I might as well show this on screen since I haven't shown it yet um, at least for this screen at least for this playthrough um, on this website here, Retro Achievements, I'm trying to badge this game. I'm one off. The achievement is the worst one. Complete the game. No one can pass level 28. So it's a, it's a low level run. Um, and it's a, it's a bit grueling. It's a bit grueling to be honest with you. I messed up um, a couple streams ago. I got all the way to Hojo. And I was over leveled. Ripped my heart out, man. So, yeah, now I've just gotta, you know, pick up the pieces and just blitz through this as fast as I can. And then, after I do this challenge, um, I probably won't touch Final Fantasy VII for another decade, I wanna say. Even after another decade, I'll probably still remember every single bit of this game. It's that burn into my brain now. FF9 and burn through, nice. Found that shit and messed up, yeah. Isn't that such a horrible feeling as well? Like, unless like you're very, um... Unless you're very disciplined about um, keeping all your saves. Like if you're playing on an, on an emulator and not on real hardware. Um, unless you're very disciplined about that, it, it can be, you can lose so much time. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, 
Um, why do they want cats? They pay cat shit on my body. Hmm. That's another one on my bucket list. The Romancing Saga series. I'll get to them one day. Oh, no. That's fucked. I think the worst, um... Like, I think... I can't remember the game. I can't remember the game, but... It might... It might have been Chrono Trigger. I lost something like, uh... I want to say 10 hours worth. Um, when I accidentally saved over my current save. And at that point, when I did that, I... I pretty much dropped the game. It was a, a pretty pure rage quit at that point. World 3 on Saga. Mm. That's that's definitely like... Like, because when it comes to JRPGs, there's so many of them. It's so good. Don't get me wrong. But like, my, my JRPG bucket list is so long at this point. There's like, you know, stuff like... Um, like, for the PS... Um, for the, just for the PlayStation 1. There's stuff like, um, Cartier, um, Legend of Ligeia, uh, uh, Legend of, what was the name of it? Legend of Dragoon, that's like a four disca, um, Xenogears, I never completed Xenogears, I came very close, um, what else is there, Star Ocean, um, and that's just off the top of my head. The grind takes so long. The thing about FF9 is it's really easy until late game, then it's hard. I can imagine. I can imagine. I've seen a couple of people on, on Twitch try to badge it. And yeah, it's a bit of a son of a bitch. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let me. Review. I'll give him that. Yep. And then I will give him bad stuff, I guess. Why does it not want me to have Aerith? It's so strange to me. Eh, anyway. Just follow the guide. And we should we should be able to get to the end of this one by the end of the screen. And I'm saying, for me, the end of the stream, I'm hoping to be midnight. But, uh, we'll just have to... Let's see. Wakey, wakey, cloud. No, I'm, uh, in Aussie land. From Western Australia. Yes. Hmm. Um, so we're gonna switch around some material. Exchange. Tifa can have Earths. Barrett can have. Oh. Oh wait. Um. What's his name? Nanaki. He's gonna come running through. Yeah. It's the way you uh, talked confused. Oh, I see. Um. I used to live in Japan, and um, I used to do English teaching, and they used to um, really emphasize American pronunciation. So, doing that for years on end, it really uh, messed up my accent. Yeah. Please look after my cat. <laughs> Okay, we can uh, switch his material now. There he is. Bomb. And then we'll heal, and then we'll go to Rocket Town. Yay! Oh, everyone's all healed. Interesting. So, let's get everyone in the back row, and let's give everyone a trank. Hashtag sad boys. All about taking the tracks, boys. 
Hmm. Six, like, I've, I've got a lot of love in my heart for Six. It really is, like, a, just a stellar game, but, like, for me, like, I had to, like, determine which one did I like more. Because I played them equal amounts. I think for me, like, Seven is, like, a distant third. Um, I would say Six is probably my, my number two Final Fantasy. But, um, four for me personally. Because I felt like... The story itself, it had a good beginning, middle, and end. And it wasn't a time vampire. Whereas with 6, I felt the ending of 6 was a bit... rushed. I felt like it was a bit rushed. But um, in terms of like, polish of the actual game, FF6 shits all over Final Fantasy IV. It shits all over it. Yeah. Anyways, I've given them all tranquilizers. We're now going to Rocket Town. It should be somewhere around here. Run away. That hurt. Oh, that's right, Nibelheim first. Nibelheim first, Nibelheim first. Save. Uh, let's do the drop save here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Maybe you're just streaming, Cloud. I remember the intensity of the flames. It's like being caught in some bullshit, and then it's like, No, but guys, I remember the intensity in the flames, you, you must believe me. It's like, oh my god, you're such a fucking liar. Really? I thought everyone, like, universally loved uh, FF6 over 4, and I thought that I was the outlier. Luxource. Source. Reunion. Poor kids. Um, oh, one. I actually haven't played one yet, and I, I've been wanting to. I'll, I'll, I'll probably in the next, like, year or so play FF1. I would prefer for, a, like, uh, for a viewer to redeem it for me, but, you know. Um, but, uh, what about FF12 uh, for the, uh, PlayStation 2? That was a sick... No was it 2 or was it 3? No, for the 2. PlayStation 2. Final Fantasy uh, 12 was a sick game in my opinion. Very different, but um, the evolution of the battle system was pretty good. And uh, it had gambits too, didn't it? The thing about FF1... You're lying. Have I been born and raised here? I remember the intensity of the flames, motherfucker. Give me things. Thank you. Multiple classes that... Yeah. Ah! So maybe like Final Fantasy V. That was my first taste of classes, but I guess it would... It was first introduced in, um... In the very first Final Fantasy. Which I guess will make sense. Yeah, I'm not super... Like, okay... Give me... Lux Horse, nice. So, I know, like, uh, which ones do I know? Fourth... So, I I didn't play the Nintendo ones. You can be the knight with, game with four knights. I should remember this. If I can play it as quickly as possible with four knights, it'll be nice. Four black mages, four white mages, four monks, four thieves. One white mage. Hmm. I mean, I'm guessing, like, like with all Nintendo games, 
like they've been around so long people know all of the secrets of these games so they've probably been like speedrunners especially would just exploit the fucking shit out of these sorts of games which is cool which is cool I dig it I, I will I will play Final Fantasy one soon 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 soon. Go check out Mummy's house. Mummy's not there. And Mummy dead. What's your story? Are you sick? I ain't sick. Taking over my house. All right, it's time to steal another pair of underwear. Huh? He's not even gonna bring me a present. Damn it! Present? There we go. Different mentality. Oh, and also, yeah, like um. The game itself, like, you know, they're on the verge of bankruptcy, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I felt like, um, they had more room to experiment, whereas, um, after, like, the first three, maybe, maybe after the first two, it was like Squaresoft became known as the Final Fantasy company, and then it was like, okay, well, we gotta do this, 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 people are expecting this. I'm guessing they had like huge freedom when they first made like the first uh, couple of uh, Final Fantasies. Where's that orthopedic? No, damn it. And here's how we know that the tower was actually burned down. Hmm. All right. Time to jam on this. Uh, I remember. Um, damn it! I messed up. I I I pressed the fast forward um, button by accident. A lot of JRPGs want to tell a story and have a, a it less open and more about telling you a story rather than you choosing a path. Yeah, like I would prefer more open world and like lots and lots and lots of side quests that you can like discover on your own. Like that is pretty neat whereas um what's the opposite of that like final fantasy 12 uh no 13 with lightning like i felt like for the majority of that game it was on rails it's like okay you must do this and you must proceed down this carefully like like we've we've made this story and you must you must adhere to the story it's like no give me my freedom back like i i don't want to play a movie you know Like, uh, I was so disappointed, like, because that was, like, um, that was when I bought my first, um, PS3. Um, it was a system seller, right? It was bundled with the, the console. But, uh, wow, was I disappointed with that game. I got it, I got it. This time I got it. Hey. Fuck yeah, one gill. Yeah, yo. No, but um, the next time you play that, I think it's on disc two or disc three. You get um, the final heaven limit break manual. That's nice. Like, um, I feel like Final Fantasy IX doesn't hold your hand, but I I never played enough of Final Fantasy IX. Um, I think Final Fantasy VIII was more on rails. It had a specific thing that I wanted to show you. Um, the side missions in this. There aren't so many. Yeah. I think... I 
And because I haven't finished any Final Fantasy Beyond 7, like, my knowledge is lacking, but I, I distinctly remember the feeling that Final Fantasy X was similar, like, on rails. Want to make a more open sandbox with less story? Yes, like uh, Skyrim, like the Elder Scrolls. Japanese games uh, want to make story-based games. Yeah, it's it's actually a good thing to have um, that sort of variety. I th I think. Um, that's Mama's house. Right. <laughs> we can talk to these dudes. Whoa, Sephiroth. Mmm. Mmm, Sephiroth. Oh my god, that's a good reunion. Oh, baby. Hey, calm down, fellas. It's like they're pulling on the nutsack. Depends on how good a game is. If you want to make a story based game. Mm. Like, there's one game. Um. I would call it like a um, a C RPG. Um, very intimidating. I'm very intimidated by it. It's uh, considered a classic. It's called um, um, Planescape Torment. Um, I've heard great things about it. I've I've seen people play the game, and I really want to play it. But it is such a massive game. Um, that it, it's really intimidating but games like that intrigue me like um ice ice wind dale uh boulders gate um yeah those sorts of games wasteland maybe to an extent yeah i'll read it i think i i, I know what these are But I'm not sure if the guide wants me to do it, so I won't do it. It sounds like a cop out, and it is, but like I, I do not want to be playing this game. I just want to tightly adhere. Well, I, 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 I want to play the game to get the badge. I just want to adhere enough to the guide in order to get the objective, pat myself on the back. And then to, to put this on the best. Any examples of bad games that are on the western side? Oh yeah. Yeah. But I, I also think... Um, you know, like, Japanese... Um, like, on the Japanese side, they can make really weird games. But also on the western side, they can make some really weird ones. Or strange ones. Like, for example, um, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Like, could you see a Japanese studio making a game like that? No. Um, conversely, what's what's a really weird one? Like, Japan comes out with weird shit all the time. Um, what's that? What's that game? Katamari... The, um, the one where you're rolling trash? Like, that's such an innovative, like, weird game. Must... Oh, yeah. That's another one. They're, they're obsessed with those sorts of games, like uh, Chor Anarchy. Yeah, um, yeah. I think Paradox is another good example. Yeah, Chor Anarchy, uh, Bakarats, yeah. That's a game I'd love to play on stream, because it's like, it's so crazy, but, yeah. It's been Vapor. Uh, can I get down here? Uh, no, not this way. I can through this way. Eh. Can you not touch? Please not touch. There we are. A silver motherfucker phone. Ooh, baby. Anyways. Yeah, and the guide, like, it it doesn't specify using Vincent at all. So I can't even pick Vincent. Uh, 
let me see. Let me see. Does it does it want me to get fucking No. It it doesn't want me to get the um the safe open. Damn it. So I miss out on, on the Odin materia. That sucks. But like if you have a look at the very top of the guide, like it shows you the experience breakdown and it is so infinitesimally small. Like if I if I did that um battle with lost number, it would bring me over. That's how tight this run is. So I'm not gonna chance it anymore. It's just it's just such a super super frustrating because you're basically you're not having fun. You're not having like oh I'm playing a game. It's like no, read the guide, do this, do this, do this. Changing topic. Go ahead. Oh, do you mean I'm changing topic? Mmm, <laughs> the Elder Scrolls. Mmm. I have to agree, but I, I still, I still love Skyrim, especially with mods. Like when you've got like, um, you're playing on a PC with like 150 mods. Like holy shit. But, um, when you consider, like, its roots, like, um, I'm not talking, like, Arena or Daggerfall, but, like, when you start looking at Morrowind and, like, particularly Morrowind, when you look at that type of game, and then you look at Oblivion and that evolution, and then you look at the evolution from Oblivion to Skyrim, you're like, holy shit, they really did kind of dumb down things. But, um, and it's the same with the Fallout. Like, like, Fallout 1 and 2, they're like, um, top-down, isometric, um, would you call them RTS? I wouldn't call them RTS. But, like, they're, they're different compared to the Bethesda ones. And, I would say, yeah, they, they did dumb them down, but, God, they made them fun. But, um, there was a purity to, um, Morrowind. Even though, like, fuck, I hated the combat. Like, I think with um, with Skyrim, like, if you're if you're like a, a pure like Morrowind or Oblivion fan, and you just can't get into Skyrim, I think the best way to enjoy Skyrim is just to look at like certain videos on YouTube about Skyrim. You know, like the mythology or or um, certain side quests. Because then you don't need to play the game, you just need to, you know, see what it was like and like, oh, okay, interesting. Like, um, I was really looking forward to the, um, Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim. Because, like, the Dark Brotherhood questline in Oblivion was sick. With Lucian Lachance. I got a uh, hundred thousand. I think, like, um... Because when I first got Skyrim, it was, um, ex I was, um, I was a console poor. Isn't that what they call them? A console poor person? So, um, I think I had 500 hours on the PS3, glitches and all. And then when I, like, graduated over to PC Master Race, I think I put in something like a, li a little bit under. One thousand hours, yeah. So I, I had like, like, I'm not trying to like, you know, like my dick is bigger kind of thing. It's like, uh, I had a similar amount of playtime in in Skyrim. Skyrim, like, the only other game I've put more time in is CS:GO, um, and that's a. Ooh, if if I could like, if I could turn back time to get back, like, I would I would never touch CS:GO. If I had my time again, I spent way too much time on that game. Like, I think I put in two point two thousand five hundred hours in CS:GO because it was fun. But yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, I put in roughly five hundred on PS3, roughly five hundred on the various versions of Skyrim on PC because you had vanilla, and then you had um. 
special edition, and then you've got the new one, anniversary edition. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, with that in mind, fingers crossed, hopefully Bethesda's going to release Elder Scrolls VI uh, Redfall next year, hopefully. But you're right, like, you know, you want, like, you want your new Skyrim game. We've waited long enough, and we fucking have. Like, they dropped Skyrim November the 11th, 2011. 11, 11, 11. It is now 2023. We've been waiting 12 plus years, or 12 ish years. Where is the next fucking Elder Scrolls game? People are angry. Um, but the fact is, like, um, Zenimax, they sold Bethesda to Microsoft. So now it's Microsoft telling them what to do. And they're focusing a lot of resources on Starfield, uh, which may or may not be good. We, we just don't know. Um, I'm, really, I'm really wondering, will the next Elder Scrolls like, be as good as Skyrim? Better than Skyrim? Better than Skyrim or Oblivion? Or Morrowind? It's hard to say. I really, I, I'm, fingers crossed. I'm going to be buying it. I think a lot of people are going to be buying it. But, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Skedaddle. Howdy doody. Microsoft bought Bethesda, yeah. Now they're trying to buy Activision Blizzard. I, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I, I think they they have tried, but isn't it being blocked or something? Yeah. This is where Zack and Cloud busted out. Let's get out of here. Feeding time. Hello, Sephiroth. I'm going to fast forward now. And this is about where you throw something into my chest. Yeet. Dang. Lol. That would hurt like fuck, wouldn't it? That's like throwing like a cue ball at someone's chest. I just yeeted that shit at us. Okay. And apparently, if you put in um, added effect and destruct, you've, it's got a chance of killing, just like Odin. So that's pretty nice. But anyway, we're not here for that. Alright, time to get out of the building. Sorry, Vincent. Don't touch me. Uh oh. Shit. Life. Trank. Sad voice for life. Um. Nope. Hey. Get out of here. Now we're going to go to Mount Nibble. TS video games like if I'm like oh an example of like um a drastic change between beloved games like I I I wouldn't say I obsessed but I did play a lot of uh, New Vegas for New Vegas love that game uh, but it was still on that older engine and so then they bring out Fallout 4 on the newer engine but, like, the gameplay was, like, and the dialogue options were really dumbed down. Like, um, I think New Vegas, they had Obsidian help out. And Obsidian were the ones that, you know, did the first two. But, um, yeah. I just, they really dumbed it down in, in FO4. But I still liked it. But 
that all being said, like in my opinion, New Vegas is the best Fallout. In my opinion. Should I save? Oh yeah. Uh, it's not necessary for me to save here. Did I buy it at release? I def well, I definitely bought Skyrim release because that was like that was like day one purchase. Like the hype was too much, and like the whole thing about like don't buy a game pre-release, like that wasn't a big thing. And like everyone was super pumped for fucking Skyrim. Cool. But um, Fallout 4, did I buy that like day one? No, I held off and I I bought it on sale because I knew that like six months down the track they would do that. I don't, I don't even think I'll buy D4. Oh, Diablo 4. Mmm. Well, I mean, like, there's nothing stopping you from playing um, Diablo 2. Oh. It, honestly, like, because I, I'm kind of biased at this point. Like, I, I wanted my, Miami to win. I thought, okay, they're up, you know, three, three zero, like they kind of deserve it. I I thought at least. Um, and then that game six, like Jimmy, he hit those last three, like at the foul line, to put them up by one. So it was 102 to 103. There was like three seconds left. Um, somehow, somehow, <laughs> fucking Derek White gets a tip in. At the the 0 0.1 second mark to get a, a game seven, so now it's going to be played in Boston. Game seven. Yeah, Max Max Struss like he didn't guard the inbounder. He guarded um, Tatum, or rather, he was trying to affect the um, the pass to Tatum. You you don't leave the inbounder. You you, you don't leave the inbounder. So that was like. That was a huge shake my head moment because if he did that, okay, okay, maybe Tatum gets it, but Tatum gets it from like, you know, like the 30 foot mark. And I don't care how good you are, even if you're Steph Curry, if someone's on you, like on you, like white on rice, and you try to jack up a three to win the game and to like prolong to get to a game seven, like I would take that. I would let you take that shot. Hand in your face. Like, go for it. Do it. But to let someone have an easy lane and then... Doop, I just, like... That just happened. That just happened. Like, I would send that... I would send Max Drews to China. Play for the... The Guangdong, Chai, the Guangdong Tigers. Like that, it, it it upset me. It's such a basic play. And Spolstra was like, you know, covering for him, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah like, we're trying to pressure Tatum. We didn't want to put in Tatum's hands, and, you know, we lived the results of... Rrr. It's like, no. Nah, no. Nah. Like, we, we all know what happened. We all know. Or at least I like to think. in the hood. Get up. Get up, man. Boom. Boom. Okay. Room blade. Oh, mummy. Get the camera. Whee. Room blade. Yeah, just leave it like that. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. No, don't touch. No, don't touch. That's alright. We can finally get to an enemy where we can get our um uh, enemy skills. That's pretty nice. Hey, now this area. Okay. Okay. 
enter pipe number two when you get there and then save. Oh, um, but you know what the, in the interesting thing about uh, Miami is? You have a look at their entire team and it's like two of their starters were undrafted. And I'm like, two of their starters? And then um, two on their, um, two others on their bench are, are undrafted as well. I'm like, what? So you've got four undrafted players, like um, Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, um, what's his name? There are some others. I don't think Duncan Robinson was, or if he was, he was like a low first or second rounder. Like, they've got a lot of, like, like, I would call, I would call them cheap players. Because like all around the league, they're like looking for like draft picks to get into the like first and second round. But these guys have got starters who are just undrafted. They just like they just like turn up. Yeah, Robinson. Yeah. Oh, Robinson had two chances right at the end though to to put Miami up. But the thing was like I don't I don't blame him for the loss because he. He really like helped them pretty much the entire match. It's just that those last two shots, that were so clear, and he missed them. It's unfortunate. Steph Curry does that as well, you know, in some playoff games. Yes, and a lot of people were criticizing that contract actually, but I don't see how you can criticize it, like given their push in this um, this year's playoffs. I feel like he's earned it. Especially since Tyler Hero was uh, injured. That's the thing though, isn't it? Live by the three, die by the three. Yep. It's a make or miss league. Unquestionably. Okay, so they want me to make a party of... Cloud, Aerith, and Barrett, give them tranquilizers, place them in the back row. Okay, make them all healed. Okay. Aries, you give them tranquilizers because, because why not? Get tranked. Tifa. Save it. Um, here? Yep. Okay. Do I just kill this thing first? I mean, fuck it. Yeah, why not? Do I have all my, uh, enemy skill? Uh, sense steel. Come on, Aerith. Here we go. Set again. Boom. And okay, now, how do they want me to defeat this fucking thing? They say that this is the toughest battle so far. Difficulty, 3 out of 10. Come on. Okay. So they want me to chuck a, a deadly waste on him. Okay. Uh, okay. If you don't attack him, he does not use Trine. Okay. Mm. All right. You get any waste? 
No worries, Uski Daddle. Take care. I'll see you around. Yay, he's been poisoned. Get fucked. No. Please don't. Please don't touch my princess. Don't touch my princess. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch my princess. What's that you want? You want a, uh... Ooh. Will this work on him? Let's find out. No. That's a big fuck no. Alright, uh, right arm. In the butthole. I should be careful, because the, the guide says that um, if you do that, he might uh, cast Trine. This is a big horn and a cure too, apparently. So he's living large and in charge. Uh oh. If we could not do that to Eru. If we could not do that. Ow. My peanuts are still. track. Just gotta be careful because we need to kill off uh, Cloud and, and Barrett while making sure that um, Aerith stays alive long enough. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Still loses uh, HP though. No, just gonna sit there. I'm not gonna lose anything from poison. Alright. Defend, defend. Okay. 
Okay, in that case, we need to get uh, these boys dead, probably. Die, die, die. There we go. Mind blow. Right. Okay, time to get the goodies. I just realized I didn't knock the ladder down, so I've got to do a whole loop of the, the, the thing. Oh, wait, wait, can I go? No, I can't go back up. Shit. I can use this though, can't I? Give the, uh, the thing to well. Stretch myself a bit thin on magic, but I go that. Oh, if those dragons, like, um, I better just, like, look it up. I think they drop, yeah, I think they drop, um, gold armlets. But if they can be just straight up stolen, then shit. Then sheesh. It's called something else. Cable uh, G.
Oh, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Nibble Heim, Matt Nebel. Yep. And what's it called? Yeah, it's called Dragon. Okay. I didn't have the, the URL to be done. You can steal gold armlets. Okay, that changes things. That changes things. Um, let me... Just run away. Ooh. Ooh. Ready to one. Ooh. Let's just see if I can get out of this. Oof, of all the things to run into. Just let me go, just let me go, just let me go. I need to have a a small wee wee break. I thought I thought that we I I said that I was gonna have a wee wee break after the cave of the key. Anyway. Let me just deal with that. Okay, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Alright. Okay. Back into it. So this is kind of the back doorway to get back here. I mean, we don't actually have to visit this area, but... Oh, fuck it, why not? get to a save point. That'll be nice, because it means we can use the tent. There we go. Should I bother about getting that for No. Let's just go to... Two first. Number two, number two. Fuck. Okay. Don't die, don't die. Ooh, she might die. Thank God. Limitation. Derp. Hmm. 
Mm. Now, we'll be looking to get the treasure, but also to, to farm um, gold armlets. Nice. Let's see if we can steal something first though. I'll try number one, fuck it. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But. So, six gold armlets. We've already got one. Come 
on, where's my dragon? Where's my dragon? Dragging these nuts. <laughs> so risky fucking moon. <laughs> this low level. Oh, see ya. Gotta go. Backpack, head all. Oh, go on, I'm nice. Run away, run away, run away. Please run away. There we go. Once they're please, it works. Sad boys for life. Eating the remnants of my cheesecake. Om nom nom. Steel. No reason for you to have two steels on there. Stretching out the um, the use of the revived material here. Hmm. 
Three gold armors thus far. We need three more. It's giddy. I've increased the odds of me surviving the flamethrower. Shit's sake. I hate that enemy. It just inflicts so much pain. Silver armlets can be sold as well. That's extra cash for me. So if I get two more, then we can leave. I'd rather save though. Just to make it nice and safe. So progress isn't lost. Yeah, I forgot that um using manipulate's the easiest way of uh getting this done quick. With with um minimal fuss. With minimal scares. Beep, 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 beep. No time for happiness, only sadness. Don't mind that enemy because it doesn't often hurt. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can I can actually come back here. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean, Mr. Garrison. We can just simply leave like that. We can go to Rocket Town and then loop back. We can circle back. Let's 
sell, uh, I shall sell you two silver armlets. One key wrist. Ether, huh? Uh huh. huh. Shinra Beta. Town of Mangle. Yeah, just get rid of him. Yes, yes, yes. This, this one here. Feel the Yoshiyuki. Rocket. So as you can see, it's alright, but when you Now, if I go to an inn... How much is it going to be? Two hundred? Oh yeah. One hundred, sure. There we go. Next time. Oh, okay. My treasure. Hey, buddy. It doesn't say for me to buy arms, but... Oh, yeah. So it says at Cosmo Canyon, buy 25 Phoenix Downs and 25 High Potion. Yeah, okay, so we're a bit, like, delayed on that. Gold Armour, 2000. Yeah, not bad. What's better is when you can steal them for free. Which is what we need. We'll go here. Call the people. Powerful weapons for her. I think if you put like a cursed ring on her, um, it makes her like. House. Yeah. I've heard that if you put 
a curse string and you put power salt on Tifa, like she gets like really like high damage. So something to consider in the future. to get the final um, gold armor. Now you might think, I'll oh, just fucking buy it, but I mean every penny counts. Every gill. I ain't buying shit. I ain't buying shit. Please manipulate. Thank you. Done the in, done there, done here.
all over the world. it up. Okay. And then, and then. Okay, give me your eh. Drilly. Drilly Millie. Lay me on the brain. Hello, Shira. Hello, beach. Talk to the president. Talk to Obama. Bo, bo, bo. I'm gonna save. Save again. All right, it's time for the palm fight. Uh, that damn tea. Stalky Doggy. I'm glad I can kind of skip over this. <sighs> After this, honestly. I know, I know it's weak, but I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. It's 11. Oh, watch this. And... Bloop. And tilt. Don't say fat. Okay. 
Yep. Okay, how do I deal with this guy? Okay, his only attack is Mako Gun, which you're going to use 10 times before he runs out of MP. Yeah, we go. Damn it. Uh, I'll just wait until he runs out of Mako gun. Has he got anything left? Nothing left in the tank. Gonna boom. Okay, and attack here.
speed this up a little bit. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> It'll have to be tomorrow. It'll have to be tomorrow, but you know, we got a fair bit done. We got a fair bit done. session like you gotta know when to hold them when to fold them yeah and my um, ability to stay awake has like slowly but surely faded 